everyone. Welcome to Ripping the Silver Back. I'm your host this week, as from Heel versus Babyface. Joined as ever by the rip part of it, Eric July. What up? What up? What up, man? It's good to be here. You know, I look forward as always because that's really when we stream on your channel. You always got surprises for me. So uh, <laughs> that's always fun. But yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. <laughs> I didn't think we could get anything better than the beg seg. But today, I think I think we're going to challenge that. Because I've got the freshest hell from the mainstream comic book industry. Just for your viewing pleasure. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> but you dropped a little something today. Just a little something. Do you want to mention that? Talk about that? Yeah. So, um, you know, we pondered on this for a while. This is something that has been suggested um, by my audience many times. And uh, just some people creatively, as well as some of the folks that... Um, you know, our respect and value from a business perspective. And we, we collected all that information after discussing this internally for, for a very long time. Actually, Well, I mean, compared to, to how long our company's been around. Hmm. And we said, okay, we're going to do it. It makes sense right now. We have the infrastructure in place. We know what, what works and what does not. So we launched today, uh, Rip Ascend, which is going to be uh, our service wing under uh, the Ripperverse publishing brand. So uh, really prioritizing direct-to-customer stuff, but really doing it all, whatever they need, consulting. We have uh, fulfillment, obviously, uh, campaign hosting, storefront hosting, all of that. We have everything in line uh, for them that we're going to be offering to select clients. We have a co couple that we collected already, and, of course, the messages have come in. And we'll be, go, of course, digging into those uh, this upcoming week and getting in contact with you all. Um, but, yeah, it, it's it's it, this is something that, you know, we've, it was a hole in the market for sure. Um, but this is also our way to kind of give back um, to like uh, other creators, because this is we're really focusing on like creator own stuff with this whole deal and uh, just offering our infrastructure to help get projects over the line. And it's not just with just getting projects over the line. There's some guys out there that look. The fulfillment aspect is fucking boring to them, right? Uh, they they just want to get out there create, and I respect that. You know, some mm -hmm. creators just, just want to do that, and that's where we come in, where we can help them. So, uh, seeing the excitement for this project that we have has uh, really been kind of crazy to see um, uh, initially. So, I'm really I'm excited that other people are excited, man. So, um, yeah, this is again just our service wing of our company, man, and I'm glad we can uh, finally announce it. Nice. Nice t-shirt you're wearing. Oh yeah, just a just a little something. I mean, I okay. did say that, you know, we, we got some other stuff up our sleeve. This is that was announcement number one. We know uh -huh. there's a mammoth that everybody's waiting for. Mm -hmm. uh, uh totally aware of that. And uh mm -hmm. yeah, this uh we got some other announcements coming this upcoming week. So I, mm -hmm. I just say be on the lookout, is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you know what my grandma used to say to me? Yeah. No time like the present. <laughs> Why are you, gonna let, are you gonna let my dead grandma down? <laughs> look at the look at us with the kid. Are you gonna disrespect her memory? <laughs> I respect that 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 guilt trip there. So... I gotta try and find a way in, Eric. I gotta try and find something soon is what I could say. So let's, uh, uh, let's play a game. Yeah. Uh, let's play a quick game. Uh, who dis? Who dis? I, I have no, no idea. I'm trying to. I see a couple mm -hmm. of I'm not sure. Who? Mm -hmm. Give it away. Who the fuck uh, is this? Is the first look at the uh, the remake of the Crow? <laughs> now with added fuck boy. Like no. it? 
no it no it isn't no 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 we're, we're getting we're getting trolled we're getting trolled uh so i gotta look it up myself because there's no oh, i ain't trolling you i ain't trolling you we're, we're, that is we're, legit we're, we're getting fucking trolled uh that's one legit thousand. vanity fair what where vanity fair. oh my fucking god he he, he it, it's he's not lying um vanity fair first look oh my did you did you see the one what is it a fucking mullet what Show show the other picture if, if you can pull up the Vanity Fair, uh, like that that top one is worse than that, the one that look. we just saw. Um. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What? Come on, bros. <laughs> oh my God! It's Kristen Stewart. That's the haircut that she's got on the Rolling Stones cover. I wonder if it, why isn't it, what if he has a tattoo going across there saying damaged? I, I it, this is actually hard to believe. I like, I like Skarsgård as an actor. I, I like him a lot. I've no fucking idea what this is. It feels like a parody movie of a Brandon Lee is fucking Ooh. rotisserie chicken. Well, I mean, he he. I mean, you want to talk about spinning rotisserie <laughs> chicken? He is he is spinning rapidly right now. <clears throat> I died for this. <laughs> Look at your fucking face. I took nah, a block, bro, it, it a block fucking... chamber for this. It, it 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 this looks bad, man. I want to uh a little bit of comic talk. I dipped my toe into mainstream comics this week. Okay. Right? Legit. No bullshit. Pick me up uh Oh the new uh, I do, I do like oh, myself yeah. some J. Scott Campbell, so I have to mm -hmm. pick up, and I picked up uh, Ultimate Spy number one. Okay, ready? Did you get the order? What, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I missed it. Or did you go to the one comic shop that's still around? Oh, no. I, I had to uh, order this online because they're all closed. Thank you, uh, Dave from Swindon, for uh, selling that uh, to me. Appreciate you. Uh, ready? Enjoyed it. Okay. I thought, I thought it was a really good uh, bit of world building in that first issue. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, I, I'm Marvel looking to, you know, to, to try and actually get sales of comics. Yeah. Taking Peach away from this fucking purgatory that he's in. He's been in one in the, in the, in the uh, you know, in the universe and... Put him in a completely different Peter with Mary Jane, with two kids, family man. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe maybe Marvel are on a, are on a war path to, to get some sales. Then I saw this. What happens when Gail Simone... Oh, uh, our good friend Dick Dixton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, gets rid of uh, Women of Marvel. Uh, one of the most talentless people in the industry. Uh, so look at this. And now we will see a world without females. Should have just had a mutant just say no more. No look more at this. Females. Same old Wolverine. No more women. No one and Gambit. Uh, that's meant to be A-Force, but it's there's nobody there because all the women have gone. Think of it, Kitty Pride never existed. So the world got hit by a planet-sized bullet. Dark Phoenix never existed, so a planet of broccoli people survives. This is comedy, I think. I don't know. I want to die of cancer immediately. Wanda isn't there to say no more mutants, so we get lots more mutants. What? Who is this guy? Spider-Man loses no one. 
from a fall, and neither does he hit the jackpot tiger. Okay, Let, let's let's backtrack a couple of seconds. Um, wait, wait, wait! I got one more panel for you. The most important panel of all. And still, you still haven't said why, Mitigator. I've been online a lot lately. I suppose you'll want to send me back. Yes, please. Says some flat-assed hoe. Okay. Like... Mm -hmm. can, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. What do I start? What, At the what? very beginning. <laughs> what do I start? Okay. So women of Marvel, right? This mm. is uh so Gil Simone, this is this is hers. Mm. Okay, so Gil Simone's writing it, right? We got we got mm. that bit of it. Oh no, the so Le it is legendary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh underlined by T says published today. Uh to go, yeah, today is Wednesday. He says some people don't seem to like prominent women in Marvel comic book titles. Hence yeah. why we get a new supervillain, the mitigator, mm. Gail Simone, some other chicks, uh, who basically mm. uh does that to the Marvel universe. So and I, I'm asking this genuinely because mm -hmm. I, I don't really know if don't you cannot tell me. I mean, you could, I mm -hmm. believe it, but it would be so unreal in the yeah. same respects that. Yeah. Marvel, th there's no way that they do we have anything from Gail, like as far as the pitch on this? Because I'm curious as to I, I see what he's saying, and generally with guys like Dick Dixton, or maybe there, I don't know if he got early access to this. I have no idea. Um, uh, because he's just not publishing this. But I wonder if that was what they were telling in, in the in the angle that they were telling or trying to sell this to um cbrs of the world that hey our influence i mean i guess i technically i don't have to guess because of that line about hey i was online type shit right um that kind of gives it away right but surely there's nothing that we have of them actually just explicitly stating that this fake ass narrative was what influenced women of marvel number one there's no fucking way there's no way that they would like say that i hear what you're saying no way i want to raise you marvel comics a minute long trailer in the chat what someone said there's a minute long trailer. i don't know if it's in oh, here well, I, well sorry I, I, this website is ad blocked up to the eyeball chat okay, well. <laughs> there ain't any fucking thing getting through on, on, on this look i got it fucking locked down I, I don't know if it, I don't know if he actually shared it, but someone said that that that, that exists. I, I want to know that. I got to know the angle. I have to. Like now, now I'm more curious. The, the angle is Gail Simone's a talentless fucking land whale uh, who's grifted in the industry for twenty plus years now. Can't write to save a fucking shit. Member of the Whisper Network, so she's with a gaggle of other absolute fucking. See you next Tuesdays. Marvel are full of cuckolds who will give absolute people like that work. And this ain't going to sell shit. Oh, man. There's no way, man. Mm -hmm. Way. There's no fucking way. 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 No way, dude. Where? That bit about uh, Sasuke's I love this. They, they highlight Black Widow here. Um, but what, what what and why like okay so they have all these other creators so i guess it's something so they're gonna so is this gonna be like a, a limited series because i see they got number it, one I think it's a one shot oh well, who are all these other fucking people oh. it's like they name You're... like fucking nine people outside of gill so I, oh it's an anthology okay so i Dude. got you I got you. So it is a one shot. Okay. So, uh, okay. I got it. Look, look. I got it. Look, okay. Look, I got look, it. look, look. You can see a few examples. I'll open that another tab. Oh, yeah. People, right. Apparently, people are mad because Kitty Pride and Rogue are going to be leading X Men teams again. 
Apparently, people are mad about that. Do you know how many people are mad about that? I haven't seen them. You no, have, have you? No, 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 no. It's it's absolute bollocks. Of course, it's bollocks. It's uh, bollocks. Nobody cares. The women, uh, possibly including uh, one written by Gail Simone. Dot dot dot. The odds are good, right? There's no way, bro. Of course, Dick Dixon would say that um, he's not a fan of us. The only time he's ever covered the Riververse, this supposed big journalist, is uh, on a hit piece, jackass. But oh, no, the guy is a baller. <laughs> well, yeah, music. yeah. But what's tripping me out here is okay. So they, yeah, you know who this mitigator guy is, who who he's supposed to represent. Um, online trolls. Obviously. Well, that that's the way that they would that's the way they would phrase it. Online trolls. Yeah. So that's I what, what, sorry. I don't know what the fuck's going on with my fucking sign. It's gone crazy. <laughs> so so that's that's who it is, and they had that bit about I was online or whatever the fuck he. What was I line? spent a lot of time online. What this is mm -hmm. is Gail. Which again, this is weird, and I don't know if it was under the advice advice of Marvel themselves saying we need this type of narrative to be a thing. So let's start from the beginning. Yeah, he is trying to kill me. Uh, let's start from the beginning here. The narrative's fake. Of course, it is. It's not real. This is not anything. It's not a position that anybody in comics has at all. Is like, hey, get rid of the women, especially the female characters in the comics. Like nobody makes that claim. No, but no. this is who these people need us to be. Yes. Okay. Uh, for they their argument, they hate their customers. Uh, yeah, of course. But this is who they need. This is who they need them to be. So it's a fake narrative. We we got that out the way. They're writing this stuff in in a book, and it looks pretty on the nose as far as we just all oh, been online. Uh, as far as who this is supposed to sort of represent. So you got a fake narrative wrote on a story or, or basically the premise or the analogy if you will since they love that so fucking much mm. uh is supposed to represent guys like ourselves probably that they believe that there's a position that we have that we got something against female characters and we like them removed go ahead what's the next Ripperverse book called He's that's a dude, right? Uh, it is very much a whammon. Oh, it is very much a whammon. Oh, so the guy that hate women so you, much, you, yeah, you hate write them. books with with women. Oh shit, there's two of them, two characters back there that are original creations here. Uh, they, that, they probably got internal misogyny. Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it's internal lost for sure. Something. Who, uh, who's writing Yaira? Oh, well, we got, got some, uh, got, uh, great, uh, Jen and Sylvia Saska who are writing. In internal misogyny. Yeah, it must be turned aside. But don't, don't forget mm -hmm. the artist. Who's which, drawing Yaira? Yeah, Deborah Carita. Uh, mm -hmm. how big's his dick? Yeah, internalized oh. misogyny for sure. Okay. Um, internalized misogyny there, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But but think about that. Like they, they come up with a fake narrative, they write it in a comic, then they sell it as a one shot. How many copies are we thinking? Uh, as this gonna sell? Well, you got you got to put it to the power of ten. Yeah, yeah. Then multiply it by the i. Mm -hmm. None. Everyone that the comic shop gets is staying exactly where it's at. Yeah. Uh, whoever, whatever poor comic book shop that was. If you order this, you fucking deserve to go out of business. <laughs> You're right. Don't choke. Oh, man. Oh. 
that the, I mean, yeah, the, I guess the gas. I can see where the gas. It's, it's more hilarious because we've been dealing with this for so long. The gaslight, the fake narrative. That part is is more funny than it is like maddening for me, right? Uh, I- anymore. Oh, dude, this 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 book. I ain't mad. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad. I'm laughing. Yeah, I'm laughing. I'm laughing because. You just have to to see something like right. You, you have to look at something like this. This is actually Hickman. This is this is well written stuff. Mm-hmm. This is just a whole episode of world building. That's all this is. A whole episode of the issue one. All of issue of world building. And I'm using this as an example because it's Marvel. Yeah, so I'm doing yeah, like yeah. for like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then you. That will probably that will make money. That book will make money. That's one of the top selling. Yeah, certainly yeah. within the top three selling. Yeah. Transformers being another one in the top three. <laughs> Something that went right, gone right back to roots. Mm-hmm. What's what? The, right back to basics. Right back to the roots of character. Transformers going right back to 1984 roots of character. Gail Simone living in 2016 with fake narratives appealing. This doesn't appeal to women. Women who are interested in comics don't go, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah about that, that's time. That's the comic I it's want. Yeah. About th- no, women who, comic, women who buy comics are like, oh, fuck, stupidity. This is written by Gail for her clique of people. That's, that's, it. The, that's the thing that fucking gets me. It's one of the things that we've discussed a million times on this fucking show. And I'm pretty sure we both probably talked about this extensively on our own channels about how these guys are writing material for their fucking peers. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not for a customer. It's not for someone that's a buyer. It is to say, ha ha, look at us. We took it to our ideological enemies. It's just fucking ah, so bad. And especially now, right? It's even more cringy than all new, all different because, you know, so much time has passed. That shit clearly didn't work. And now we're 10 years removed from it. And you, you, what's the self-awareness? That's all I ask. Imagine if they did a book called The Men of Marvel where they removed the men from Marvel. (laughs) It's the same game, it, 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 and it would have the same result. The Earth yeah. would be destroyed because of X, Y, Z. Yeah, this wouldn't wouldn't exist, or this wouldn't exist, or this wouldn't happen because it's so reductive. Yeah, and this doesn't elevate women. This makes them look like Gail's making them look petty and pathetic. Yeah, because that's what Gail is. I recently read a great book about female Marvel character. I never thought of reading it before, never read it before. Black Widow, No Strengths Play. Mm -hmm. Fucking great book. Mm -hmm. Where you just had a couple of creators. I don't know, they might be in the chat. We just had a couple of creators that wanted to write a kick-ass story about this character. It wasn't a girl power book. It was just taking a well, a good character, a beloved character, and making that character act how they should be acting. Because that's how we like our female character. Yeah. We like them to be strong, kick ass, yeah. vulnerable, have all the different nuances about them. Yeah. Gail's a talentless cow. And so this is the only thing that you can write when you're as talentless and as fucking retarded as she is. And you haven't earned your place at the table. You did a very mediocre run of Birds of Prey living off the fucking food that Chuck Dixon put on the fucking table for you. Yeah. And that's been, you've been coasting off that for 20 fucking years. How? No fucking idea. And Marvel want to employ you. That's great. That's wonderful. Your rivals love you. Your rivals love you. You you got Daddy Disney. 
sugar daddy Disney bailing you out all the time, mm -hmm. you ain't making money. We are seeing a, a, a big increase in big companies now cutting loose dead weight. Because they, they have to. They ha exactly. Do you know what uh, Bob Iger's just done? Yeah. Sold 80% of his Disney stock. <laughs> He's the fucking CEO. Mm. Why would you sell off 80% of your Disney stock if your company's doing great? Sony just got rid of 900 employees from Naughty Dog. Fuck Naughty Dog. Guerrilla Games. Why? Failed Last of Us Part 2. Well below expectations. Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Well below expectations. So you gotta cut you gotta cut the shaft off. Also happen to be Western developers and Sony are quite happy to get rid of that shit as well. Mm -hmm. Particularly when you look where they're going. Yeah. It, it's look. You bring up a great point. These companies are having to uh, look at their bottom line a little more when it's all fun and games and everything's dandy and we shit out billion dollar films. You can you can have more lost lost leaders. You can, which I think again, the comic books have been that for probably longer than than I give it credit for. It probably maybe forever, perhaps because you know it's 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 hard to believe these guys were ever actually make being profitable, right? Uh, but if you're connected or attached to that sugar daddy, whether it be the Warners of the world or the uh, or the Disney's, you can do that. OK. However, I am impressed by the. Um, because I look at something like the women of Marvel. I, I wonder how long they've been sitting on this. I wonder if this was something <laughs> that was more conceptualized right at the like 2019, like the peak of this fucking foolishness. And they just now put it out because think about how cocky you have to be too, because they've got a lot of back. It's one thing to do it early on on the front end, but after you've got your ass kicked year after year after year for doing this goofy shit, it's hard to believe that Gail or whoever the other creators that are part of this would have come up with this concept or the company like last year. Mm -hmm. Saying, yeah, we're going to really knock it out the fucking park with this one. Why don't we make a book where we use a, a main character or a new character, excuse me, as a stand in basically for how we view people online that talk about this shit? <clears throat> the comic. You, oh. I, I, I'll let you answer your question with what when I give you a question. You'll answer your question when I give you this question. Disney cut Marvel loose tomorrow. Marvel have to make money to survive. Does that comic get made? No. Exactly. It, it, Sugar it, Daddy. It, there you go. That's putting it perfectly. Uh, mm -hmm. It is. They, they're the only ones that can subsidize it. Yeah. They're, they're, That's it. It's, it's literally a, a spoil... Poor, who's li who's living off uh, sugar daddy's uh, money, and they think they're giving blowjobs. Uh, they think IPs blowjobs. Yeah, yeah. See, uh, it, it'd be one thing if, hey, you're doing the women of Marvel, and you have, like, it's an actual celebration of your female character, and it doesn't suck. As far as this concept, right? You're gonna highlight the 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 awesome female characters that you have. All right, whatever, right? No restraints plays a celebration of Black Widow. Yeah, absolutely, one thousand percent. But to like, hey, yeah, we're gonna do this women of Marvel thing, and we're gonna take it to, which is that's the only that's who they're fucking writing this to spite. That's what it is. That's the, I was looking for the fucking word. That's what. No, it no, is. no, okay, no hold, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to quantify something before you carry on. Yeah. You're not buying this stuff. I'm not buying this stuff. Nobody in the chat is buying this stuff. So can you please answer this question? Who are they actually sticking it to? Themselves? 
That's the only thing I can think of. Themselves. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good thing because who in the fuck is going to pay for it, right? Like, uh, there's not going to be many people like that. But that's the thing. It's like, I, I, look to me, and with with what I've been able to develop over the last years, and I mean, even if we go back to my band, you know, I've, I've gained a lot of insight, and I do think that partially. Yeah, we know that there's uh, royalties that exist that Gail's not getting. You gotta sell stuff to get royalties. Well, yeah, that's, they ain't getting one on this. That's for fucking sure. No way, no way in hell. But yeah, that plays into it, and there are ways that people are gonna get paid based on the performance, right? But largely speaking, for the most part, these guys. Look, yes, there's some performance-based stuff. And yeah, you might get taken off a project, this, this, and that. That that exists. I'm not saying that it doesn't. But as far as your initial pay, that has nothing to do with any of that. You get that regardless. You get your commission, mm -hmm. and that's it. So th there's a big disconnect, I think, with people in far, as far as, okay, I got to make something that makes this company money, right? And I think that just general culture, and it's not even exclusive, I, I think, to... to um, to comics, I think you can probably see this maybe even in Hollywood, right? Where it's like this actor or actress, it's just a gig, right? For them, they can do kind of whatever it is they want. Maybe a director can do whatever it is they want. They got their money. And yeah, there may be some shit on the back end. Um, but for the most part, the vast majority of the money that you get from this is, is got the minute you were providing that service. And I'll use that term loosely, but technically that's what Gail's providing, right? Uh, <laughs> actually i do take well you take I take, exception to it i was gonna say i take i take exception to that but actually i think i take offense to that <laughs> okay I, I i can see that but that's like saying hi would you like a comic yes please and then somebody just shits in your hand i take that offensively i can i can see that it's it's, it's i'm being very loose with that term, but they're providing. You could send this fucking book to Ukraine; it'd be a fucking war crime. Although it'd go down pretty well in Saudi Arabia. Shout out Riyadh. Shout out, but fuck, man, Elton John. <laughs> Any this damn stigma, man. We got to get rid of that. That's for sure. Shout out. Holy fuck, man. This is um. You know that? That's impressive, dude. Who um set himself on fire this week? <laughs> yeah, he probably read that book. I got a joke I could tell. I'm staying. I'm gonna stay away from it. Uh uh uh. uh. I'm gonna stay away from that one. I feel like doing that outside the fucking offices of Marvel. <laughs> What'd you do that for? Stupid book. Oh man, that um, that is fucked. It really is. But I'm just impressed. These guys are gonna keep getting work. But whose idea was it? I wonder, because I, you know, I've had some conversations obviously with people that have been in the industry. And, and you know, you get these collaborative efforts. You get, hey, I pitched this idea, they pitched it to me, and they just wanted me to write it. So you get a little bit of both. I wonder, I wonder who it was. If it was Gail that said, This is a fantastic idea, we should do it. Or, or if it was Marvel themselves and whoever's part of maybe their editorial team or creative team uh said, Hey. You know what would be a great idea if we did this women of Marvel and we, we, we tried to make something to spite. Hey, do you know what would be a good idea if we showed the whole well, I said the whole world, but no one's gonna see this. If if we showed the whole world that uh they're living rent free in our heads. Yeah. Again, it's a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. I'll be I'll be the first to say it. It is a dog shit idea 
But I'm intrigued. There's no need to be nasty to dogs. Well, that's true. I'm just intrigued. Who whose idea was it? Maybe Gail <laughs> at some point. So um you know. Uh I'm looking at one of the I don't want to I don't want to show the profile of the person. Mm -hmm. But I'm 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 looking at the profile of one of the people who wrote the book with Gail. Okay. Um pronouns. Check. Okay. Uh Yahtzee pride pride flag. <laughs> Check. Uh quirky bio. Check. I found the trailer though. You wanna watch the trailer? Do it. Fuck it. Do a laugh. This is uh <laughs> This is <laughs> This is <laughs> This is directly from the Marvel website, okay? okay. Well not this, website. This make, this Twitter. Make, let's let's make clean some stuff up. Yeah. Okay. Take a look. Let's have a let's have a look. Go back real quick before we get going. That I know that, that design of Captain Marvel is <laughs> well. Obviously, that's goofy there as well. But that design mm -hmm. of um of Carol Danvers. Do you know what this is? Captain Marvel's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's that's a Beatles joke. That is a yeah. <laughs> But that's an interesting design. And by interesting, I, I mean like... It's interesting where they hit a tit. And she got a couple of scars there and there. And she got a zipper tit. Women of Marvel, but they look like boys. Oh, man. There was one... What was that comic? I remember I covered it back when I was still reading before we continue on. Sure. Where I'm she in looked, no rush. She like uh, Jay, like no silent Bob. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That was interesting. Mm. I can't remember which book it was. That that oh, it's, it was so bad. Is this superpower smug? Yes. Honestly. Being serious now. If I saw this image and somebody said to me, if I didn't know who this was, they said, Is this a hero or a villain? I'd say a villain. And if they said, Why? Because, you know, she's got a colorful costume, hero. But now look at the face. Condescend condescension in the eyes. Smug fucking bulldog licking piss off a thistle smile. That's got to be a villain, surely. Zipper tit. So <laughs> clearly a villain. <laughs> Such a that's a that's an intriguing intriguing design. They don't know what they want to do with this. It's shite. They, they, they don't know what they don't know what it looks they like want. Looks like she's gonna be uh, the fucking. College fucking uh what the march. Yeah. I'm gonna drum. What, no, that's for sure what it what it does. She looks like she's part of a drum line for sure. Yeah. At, at one of those HBCUs doing all the fucking shit. For those of you that know what I'm talking about. Um, that does look like a similar get up. Actually, that looks now that I'm thinking about it, look uh looks scary act. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Get Mr. Of... Marvel off the screen. I can't I, look, chat. I can only put up there what Marvel gave us to. That's it. Yeah, it it is kind of kind of similar. If I uh, hold on, let me see if I can um. You know, this one time at band camp, Captain Marvel stuck a flute up a pussy. 
It's kind kind of similar. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's what I think. I I, I think that she's um. You want some more? Ah, oh, yeah, we gotta finish this damn thing. You want to Oliver Twist this? Yeah, fortunately. <laughs> Women stolen from Marvel. Mm -hmm. Did they all have talent? Is that what they stole? Oh. Why does she look like she's just in a flasher in her front yard? A Scarlet Witch at the nextness of all realities. Looks Say somebody's like... just shoved a cock up her ass and she hasn't fucking realized. <laughs> Sorry, wrong hole. My bad. <laughs> the fuck is this? What are we watching? Now that I don't know. Wait, Black Widow breaking and entering. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, the they're highlighting Squirrel Girl, too. Down syndrome, yeah. Huh, that's a, mm. a interesting character. They're, okay. Iron Man's having trouble. Oh, I didn't even see him back there. <laughs> That's about right. Oh, Madam Web got a lot younger. That, that's not Madam Web. What the fuck is that? I don't know. But it, it, whoever it is, it ain't fucking... Aegis, I'm calling you out. Aegis, that's what they are. Aegis. See those names, Gail Simone in the middle right there. I, mm. I can't even, I, I'm not familiar with any of these other names. Never heard of them. I don't think I want to. Um, yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take no copies. Thank you. I, I, I don't know, man. Um, it's such an interesting, again, move. Just like you would think in this climate, like obviously I'm thinking from a logical perspective, which is my mistake. That's not my own goddamn fault. But you th again, you you strung up some some losses as far as a uh, response to uh, going this direction. But especially once people hear about that storyline of hey, we're getting rid of the women, and then we got this guy who's basically was he perpetually online. That's the way he said. I've been on. I've been online a lot. Like that's not an accidental thing, man. Like that's not. That's that's a very purposeful. Someone said in the chat, "Yeah, I can't get here fast enough." It, it will. We'll, Are you we'll sure you don't want to make that. an announcement right fucking now? <laughs> right after that. Right now. Right, right I, after I, that. That this would be is a what good you call segue, striking right? while the iron is hot, <laughs> or in this case, the iron is fucking freezing cold. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, what in the fuck did we just watch? And, and look, um, th th this is why I said with the mainstream, every success, and by success, I mean some of the stuff you brought up. You brought up Transformers. You brought up um, Spider Man. Mm. I think those are outliers. And what I, what I mean by that is, I and maybe I'm wrong because obviously you read it. You read it. Maybe, but I don't get the feeling for a, a lot of the mainstream guys that on their hits, 
like when they're like, oh yeah, well, for we, we gave them a little something they that they want that they actually learn from it. Of course not. That shit came out. That's 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 what I'm saying. So while I you mean, were look, how many look, look? Let's go back to thirty years. Okay, mm -hmm. how many were how many women of Marvel, women of DC magazines were there? Oh, we, we've had a bunch of those. Well, in the last thirty years ago, oh, yeah. you would just have a female in a comic. Well, yeah, well, yeah, in, in that sense, yeah. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be we're celebrating the women, well, yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah, gays yeah, yeah. No, of yeah, Marvel, like which is yeah. everybody. Yeah, no, I got you. Now we just have this patronizing shite that's targeted at nobody. It's targeted towards the people on Twitter who will who will download well, the whole, PDF file. Uh, yeah, they'll get uh, yeah. So there will be readers, um, uh, and that will watch the first the read the first page, and if they can read, and it will become their what do you call it it's profile picture. Uh -huh. They'll love it. They'll love it so much, but they didn't buy it for fucking sure. There's no chance in hell. But that's what I'm saying, and and that's what. What makes this thing so damn interesting? Okay, we strung up some losses. Okay, now let's put this thing out. And it's the same shit. It's not even the same shit because at least with some of the other stuff, you could say it's coded. When I have a, you have a villain that is specifically trying to remove all the women and he's saying, mm. you know, I've been online. Okay, well, that's pretty, that's pretty on the nose. Um, there's no analogy really there. Um, All right. It's there, but it's, I, it's I like there. women. I like women. Mm -hmm. I like them a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> Some of them quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have a wank and throw it at Gail. Maybe. Maybe. We just judge people based on the character of that person. I could see that working. I'm just saying. I could see that being a decent idea. Often works out. Sometimes see you next Tuesday is just to see you next Tuesday. True. See, again, Disney is um, so. I haven't listened to I mean, shout out Val and Renegade. I watched a bunch of, you know, those guys and they try to cover a lot of the business stuff as far as what they're, how they're doing. Obviously, I'm trying to convince the stock. The Sheryl is like, we got this under control when it doesn't feel like they got shit. Um, we talked about it last week a little bit. We tried to, we tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. What, is, what does Disney have? And these, what does Disney have in general? Like, fuck Marvel for that matter. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm just saying that, like, okay. They've got the IP. They don't need Marvel when you have the IP. They can get rid of Marvel. They can farm the IP out. I think that's, I think that's closer to being a reality. Cause who just gave some shit to Sony? Who was that? That was Disney, right? Mm -hmm. What was it? That they gave, I can't remember what they gave to them, but they um, maybe someone in the chat can remind me. But they they licensed something off. Was it Disney? Somebody licensed something off to Sony. Um, I'm I'm looking at the chat now to try to. Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, D yeah, Disney. Yeah, yeah. It was Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I it was Blu-ray and DVD sales. Appreciate that. Thank yeah. you so much. So I think we're closer. Then uh, to that being a reality for some of these bigger companies, that that's going to be the move. And before this even happens, DC would have fallen way before then. Oh, 1,000%. They're, they're going to do it first. They're in more debt. Ooh, big time. That teetering. Yeah, they're in more debt. So that would be quicker, for sure. They're um, wobbling more than IDW with an original IP. What the hell? Because the, the the one that the Transformers you're referring to is that's that's Image, right? It's Im published by Image, but it's Kirkman's company. 
Sky Five or whatever it's called. Okay. Um, Silverbird or whatever it is. Ah, got you. Yeah, then I don't fucking know, bro. Um, but I do think we're closer than further away than a lot of people may think from that becoming a reality. So Detron, oh yeah, that's the. Uh, there's been some rumors of Warner teaming up with and and uh, merging, if you will, with uh, other companies that also in debt. This one, Skybound. Scott, I got you. So it's like a combiner now. It's not just one. It's five bunches of failing companies all combining. Mega, the mega, the Detatron, like a Detatron five thousand. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. See, and that's the part that I don't get, man. It's like if I'm a creative and I target the mainstream, like that's where you know the desire I have to be in floating among them. That's what all these guys have fought so hard for. It may have been a lifelong dream to work for a Marvel, work for a DC. I'd be fucking terrified. <clears throat> Today, I had the boiler guy in. Right? I had the boiler guy in, and he came in the house. And he's like, Whoa, look at all these statues. Look at all this. Are you, are you a DC fan? Yeah. yeah. I spoke for like 15 minutes before he even got into a quote look at the boiler about DC stuff. He says to us, he says, hey, so if, if DC offered you a job now, would you take it? I said, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I, I'd be nervous as fuck. I wouldn't take it. I, I'd be nervous, man. Just not, like, and by that, I, I'm look, I think the people that have talent are... I mean, there still might be some uncertainty, but they 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 should be able to land on their feet, particularly the artists. Um, there's a lot of talented artists out there, and they're just they're just drawing what they what what they're told to draw. It's just really what it boils down to. But as far as why these sure artists fine, writers, I don't know how you can operate within this system. I don't. Yeah. If if you are a, a, sure money, but um. <sighs> You could you could branch out. You could go independent. You could do so many different things today, this day and age. This ain't these. This isn't the only gig in town anymore. Not anymore. That that's what that I think that's what's fundamentally changed about the industry. Um, and, and why again? If if you do, because th there's another side of that, you know, because the guys with the talent that that's available to them. There's going to be other publishers. There's going to be other stuff they can do on their own because they have that. They have that ability to uh, uh to bring that in. But you know, when we're talking about some of these writers, I don't know how much, I and mean, we've seen it, I don't know how much of a draw they actually have. Um, because you well, look at someone, I, I got a rag on her real quick because uh well, I don't I'm not trying to rag on her, is what I'm gonna say. Uh, but I bring her, I brought her up before she's tried to uh, get my channel taken down, which has been hilarious, and T Franklin. And <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting I, my Professor X powers are coming through. Uh, she wrote out one of her own personal sexual fantasies with every character that she's been given to write a book about. Every single one. We're talking three way kisses. We're talking Vixen hitting on some parallel. Well, she, I don't know if she was parallel. She was, she was handicapped in some way. Bit like T. Franklin. Yeah, just like T. Franklin, who is also disabled. <laughs> but T. Franklin, you know, she was bragging the other day. I think I was with Zach. Uh, your boy Zach, I think he's covered it. He covered it. Where she was like, uh, yeah, I asked editors to add in this fourth gay, this gay uh, couple or something. And that's the fourth one. It's like, mm -hmm. okay. If we remove mainstream, if we remove these sympathy, like these publishers just bring motherfuckers, like, could T. Franklin exist in a world without Marvel or DC subsidizing her? Like, and I'm, I'm being genuine in my no, question. Yeah, sure. If you're being genuine with the question, at least give me a question that's fucking hard. 
or provoke thought. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. For you guys that don't know, all right. Let me turn this question up. Let me turn this yeah. on its head. Yeah, yeah. You're hiring talent for mm -hmm. the Ripperverse. Mm -hmm. T. Franklin puts their curriculum vitae, their resume, into you. Your move. Yeah. When she get her interview? What interview? You answer a lot of your own questions. You know? <laughs> but that's the thing. I think a lot of these writers are in that same position where it's like we we the term we use sugar daddy. And I, I do think that's where where a lot of that vigor that 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 or it's more spiked than anything that they have towards um fans. And the likes comes from that, them having to face that reality. Because if, ha, shout out Jordan, yes. Um, and it, it's like, I feel like deep down these guys know, even if they never admit it, deep down these guys know that if this shit, if this shit went away tomorrow, they don't have a spot on the other side. So it has to exist. It has to be propped up. I'd love to take credit for this, but it's actually your boy Zach that said this a few years ago. These people are the make a wish of the comic book industry. Because they're good. full of fucking cancer. Yeah. And they'll and they'll just die. They'll, they'll die. There's, there's nothing, there's no talent there. Right. It, it's it's a charity case. Yeah, you know, that's putting it perfectly. It's a charity case, for sure. 1,000%, because they're not... And and that's... The charity, of course, being ideology. But well, uh, yeah, but... It, or it, skin it, color. Or sexual uh, orientation. That, yeah, and, and that's that's pretty obvious. Um, It's like, hey, we're bringing people on, check, we check a box or whatever. That's all part of it. But again, if Marvel says, you know what? Because if you license a product out, I feel like you got more skin in the game. Well, I get IDW does it all the time, to be fair, and they've not gone in the, the best of directions. So that's not even an excuse either. IDW uh, could go out of business any second, never mind any day. And that's not even an exaggeration. No, it's not. It's, it's, if we it's, hear it, Five minutes from now, IDW's gone under. We know. Yeah. It, they've, been, it, they've been wobbling for a long time now. It, or more it, accurately, I circling the drain. Not for the last Ronin. I think they're done. Well, they're done because they fucked up the um, follow up to it big time. Well, yeah, two, yeah. Well, that's another thing. But I'm saying if they hadn't hit it big, with with Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles, that that the last Ronin, I think, I think they're done. They for sure made a killing on that, but that was all they had. I know they mm -hmm. had something else was licensed that they had t some TV shit. I can't remember what it was. Lock uh, and key. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So they had that for sure, but everything else was. But down. they financed it. Shout out Heather Han Antos. Um. Heather Antos is the only person in comics that's actually managed to fail downwards. Shout out. Um, Shout out. Yeah, big, Come big. Dumpster 2017. Shout out. Um, Imagine that's your legacy. What, blowing up companies? No, being called a Come Dumpster by your boy Zach. <laughs> Shout out IDW, um, for sure, because uh, you guys are. What do they have now? Son Sonic, they gotta still have that, right? They gotta still do, do the Sonic books, I'd imagine. 
They lost Transformers. They lost Transformers, so we know that's not in in the equation. It's got to be Sonic. They, I'm about to look it up now. They have to have that. And obviously, you know, Teenage Mutant and Turtles, but, you know. Yeah, last Ronin. T- so what, what's going What happened with, like, yeah, this last Ronin 2 shit. Um, uh, so, yeah, they got, they're putting out a, a Godzilla thing. They got Stranger Things. Let's go lock and key. Yeah, they don't really got shit, bro. All this other stuff. You, you can get George Takai's, uh, they they called us enemy. But outside of that, what imprints do they fucking got? I'm, I'm looking now. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm genuinely curious. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, Star Trek. That's, a, that's been in a good spot. Uh, <laughs> there's some Sonic stuff still there, and got they say got Godzilla, My Little Pony. Star Trek's in such a bad spot right now that it wishes it had cancer. So they have Star Trek. They're doing some Godzilla stuff, Lock and Key, obviously. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, My Little Pony. Well, they just had Zoe Quinn. I, I keep forgetting about that name. Uh, did I say Sonic? I can't remember if I said Sonic. That's about it. That's the, those are six properties, for the most part, that they have. I'm sure everybody's excited. They hired Stephanie Cook, Zoe Quinn, and T. Franklin last year. IDW did? Mm-hmm. See, I don't... Look. I'm in business. I get it. We got the markets. They're up and down. People lose their jobs. Sometimes that's unfortunate. But if you go out of your way... So I'm, I'm, I'm going to look it up. What, what all she... Is this she, week they hired Robbie Rodriguez. The guy who... um. Uh, tried to me to Frank Cho. Isn't Robbie Rodriguez the guy that showed his asshole off as well? Took a photo of his asshole. I can't remember if that was him. Was that him? Uh, can we get a? So she, so T. Franklin's can we doing get a my little pony. Check? Yeah, he said he, he sent his butthole to uh, Frogman. That's rough. Yeah. I mean, that's that's rough. But yes, T. Franklin's doing the... Uh, it looks like she's doing the My Little Pony shit. <laughs> Not even joking. Like, I'm, uh, she's doing the My Little Pony. Those are the comics that she's doing. So they're all just going to fuck each other and scissor. Yeah. So... Uh, hey, she- I'm Sparkle, My Little Pony. And I'm... Crackles, my little pony. I wonder what I did. What was up? Quick, stick this dildo in your, ma- your ass. Oh, look, here's, here's um, Dairy, my little pony. Join in. Fucking rubbing hooves. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, if they if they hired those three people, I mean, so last year they gave her the Adams family. Interesting. Wednesday, mm. Wednesday. Yeah, that with that crave going on, yeah. they said, "Hey, to capitalize on that, you know who would be perfect." This woman who got a guy killed. And he is not exaggerating, y'all. Someone said in the chat, Horseman kills my little pony facts. <laughs> All day long. Yeah, she's writing a new wins. So that's what it was. They're trying to capital. See, that's the thing that I don't understand. Like, who whose decision is that? 
All right, Wednesday, this thing has become this sort of craze. It's Wednesday crave. You know what? We're going to capitalize. We're IDW. We have the, uh, we got the license uh, of this. We're going to capitalize on that. God damn it. You know who we bring in to do this? Fucking Zoe Quinn. Who does hey, it? Uh, let's bring that person that got a guy killed and who also killed Vertigo Comics as well. That's a, that's a surefire money spinner. Who else should we get him? This disabled fucking lesbian. She just makes every female character snog. Everyone! Not joking! For those that don't know, T. Franklin also did the... Um... Who else should we get? Stephanie Cook. She's run off with all the money. And gone to Canada. And uh, for you guys... And now there's an extradition treaty to try and get a he's not joking um for those of you that don't know t franklin also did the um wheelchair on the back spider uh wait, wait. sun spider that's what they call her well i don't know if it was a day um, but they had the flag on did you know that t franklin um also identifies t franklin also identifies as a sex worker a grandma sex worker. I'm staying away from that one. Um, I think I already caught AIDS. Just reading that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm only lying. I'm HIV positive, I have. So, yeah, uh, if you're interested in legs dangling as you're swinging this... Uh, through the city of I'm that's guessing, my favorite yeah. spider-man the ones whose leg keeps knocking them out and then when they fall and come to they put a pride flag on as a dress so what's so what the it was webbed to them right like how was how, how was it attached the, um, uh, the <laughs> by a sinewy I'm going to hell for this, and I'm, I mean, it is what it is, but... Dude, she had a fucking wheelchair strapped to her back! That's the Spider-Man I want to fight, fight against. Come down here and fight me. Lands falls over. Shout out, um, Nooner just ended, so we got raided by uh, Gary. That's where a lot of our audience I know are usually over there because this show starts earlier. So big shout out to Gary. I know he had Chris Gore there as well. Shout out. Uh, we were just talking about uh, lesbians <laughs> attach a wheelchair to them to their backs and uh, swinging across the city. So um, hopefully this is a very wearing pride flag dresses while wearing pride flag dresses as well, um, uh, and, and and the wonderful uh, writer. That uh, uh, <laughs> that I was also just happens to be it's coincidence happens to be um in a wheelchair as well, um and is also this gay is a, like all the other characters that they write. This is a tweet from T Franklin from the Christmas Eve 2022. Okay, grandmas and grandpas do sex work too. I'm a whole ass grandma. And I'm still draining wallets and balls. I'm going to let that one sit with you. How's that resume looking now, Eric? I know you're a married man. I'm going to be over here when you need me. Oh, my God. That is so, um... <laughs> Merry Christmas, Eric. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. She is, um... Uh... You're gonna hire her tomorrow. What are you talking about? Um, I, on a serious note, because she's she's notorious for this. 
mm-hmm. can see her. I would rather her. not. I'd rather not. Well, see I'd her. rather. <laughs> I when I say I could see her, I for sure need to be speeding up what it is that I'm gonna say because I don't want anybody getting the fucking wrong idea with that. But I for sure could could envision a world where because she does this tweeting as we grow. Hey, why haven't you guys hired? This is what T Franklin does. Why haven't you guys hired a disabled so and so? A disabled hooker. So I'm gonna ask a foul question. I'm gonna go for it. I'm sent full sin in this shit. <laughs> what do you think she makes more money off of? Sucking dick. <laughs> Shout out, Ellen John. <laughs> Ellen John, man, we stop. We're, out there, we're trying to get that AIDS, yo, man. For, from AIDS, man, we're trying. We try, do it every day we can. Oh, yeah, that's probably accurate. Now that I'm thinking about it, and I'm not thinking oh, about it. I'm just better. saying, I'm just being pragmatic. You can get $50 a blowjob. You can't even get a page rate of $50 for these companies. Oh, shit. Hey, do you know what would be a good idea? Given her access to Pauline I- Poison Ivy Catwoman Vixen. <laughs> oh yeah, she got she gets it all. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. They give it up everything. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh, everything. <laughs> and everybody's lesbian now. Um duh. Like everybody is lesbian, because she prides herself pride, <laughs> um, and like doing that type of shit, making it like. And I'm not saying this like, oh, it's just bragging. Like, no, she brags about this shit all the fucking all the fucking time. Matter of fact, so there was one. Let me see if I can find this real quick. I'm gonna I'm I'm find it for you. Cause there is something that for sure was stated that is uh i think you're, you're all gonna find hilarious um let me see if i can find this shit oh man where is it at i saw it not too long ago and i'm losing it Fuck. it was a it was a post what did that I, do? I didn't fucking suck an old man's dick for 50 bucks well not that you can prove where is it at, man? I can't find it. Damn, I can't find it. Oh man, she said something like, uh oh, Did man, she say a... something like grandmas and grandpas do well, sex work it, too? It... I'm a whole ass grandma and I'm still draining wallets and balls. That's just such a fucking foul statement it's it's so foul you don't want to see the picture i I got a pitch for you it's a question that t franklin had right here can i go on go on (laughs) would y'all like or who no excuse me who would y'all like Mm. see do a cover for my upcoming afro futuristic comic series BIPOC, which I used to thought stand for bisexual POCs, but it's not. It's actually black indigenous uh, oh. person of color uh, is what that means. Artists especially. Extra mm-hmm. points if they're disabled, queer, and or non-binary. Mm. Can we have a breakdown of the point system? 
I want to see how many I would get. I gotta get half a point for being bald, surely. <laughs> oh, fucking shit, man! That um, she still getting mainstream work. Ah, here it is. So this is what she said, and this was on the twenty third. So this wasn't that long ago. I wanted to get the full statement. I did kind of allude to this. So this is what she said, or or yeah, it's just a statement. Just ask my editor if I can add in another LGBTQ plus couple in this series. And mm -hmm. well, that's four. I can't wait to share. Mm -hmm. So uh, there will be four. To the nearest zero, how many copies do you think that sold? <laughs> uh, zero uh, squared. Um What series? I mean, it's funny because she worded that it could quite literally be any fucking series she's on. You could pick or choose it, and that's. It's probably I don't bring point. fucking Pikachu into it for God's it, sake. It, it might be the pony. She'll shit. turn him lesbian. That is for sure the T. Franklin special. You got other specials going on, probably, but um, as far as the books are concerned. Those specials uh, have to do with making sure that there will be the most gay people, particularly lesbians. Um, in in about that time, <laughs> and we're we've uh, there's a shortage of those these days <laughs> in uh in comics. Yeah, there's not a lot of them. No, um, I think so, yeah. at last count there was only ninety nine percent lesbians. By, by the way, we didn't. Mm. Did it happen? It happened after the show. That whole shit with Hercules and Iceman, right? We we haven't got a chance to talk about that. Uh, that was uh, Joe Glass. Now that I didn't know. All right, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because I got I to have some, I got a lot of thoughts now. Uh, I don't actually have a lot of thoughts when it comes to Joe Glass. But that's very stunning and brave of you to say that, Eric. Fuck, he has me blocked. Um, I'll have a look. The last time I checked, you didn't have me blocked. But a day has gone by. <laughs> a day has gone, gone by. Oh. That's the wrong Joe Glass. Like, look at this title. Like, this is going to really excite you guys for this book. Am I going to sell you this book based on this title? This isn't coming from Marvel. It's coming from a magazine. Gay X-Men fans are freaking out over Hunky Hercules and Twinky Iceman on a new comic cover. Yeah. That gets y'all excited for the upcoming uh Marvel Voices? No. Right. What's got me excited is that everybody who mentioned him who mentions him on Twitter <laughs> keeps getting his handle wrong. And so it keeps going. <laughs> To an account with four followers and no followers. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you could find that image with him and uh, because some people are, are are some people are asking about it. That image with because we didn't get a chance to talk. I think this happened like right after our show when this got uh revealed. Cause it was it was that day that it I think it got announced, like the day we did the show, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. With Iceman and uh Gate. Well, was I wasn't it uh, Joe Glass though just doing his um his uh personal um sexual fantasy? Oh god, now I've had to go to a gay website. Oh uh, yeah, man, that's uh <laughs> look if it says I'm logged in, I, I have no <laughs> idea who created that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Who did that? And saved it to my Google profile. Come on. Uh, uh, I just put something in a private chat. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh. Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got a whole article. From a site that I'm absolutely completely <laughs> not, yeah, not. There it is. So that's KX what we're referring to. Fans, yeah. Freaking out. Remember when I uh, when I used to cover this uh, shit um, back in the Gap, and I would talk about like how ever since they made him gay, Iceman or Jean Grey actually told him he was gay. Uh, oh. <sighs> He's been nothing but gay. Now, yeah, now that arguably is more offensive. The the whole nightcrawler shit. Um that that's probably um for those that know with his faith and that's but yeah, there it is. So they're really all in on the Loki thing, huh? On the like now he's gay. He's, he's gay, gay. And he'll never be anything but that. But yeah, Iceman is like flamboyantly gay now. Um, he he is a complete. If you read Iceman of old, he is a completely different character. Bobby being the <laughs> oh my god, crazy being <laughs> the pass around party bottom of Marvel. That's like he's he's nothing but gay. Like uh, yeah, even when like you remember the we had that Marvel whatever because this is Marvel voices, mm -hmm. and then we got this other like I said we we talked about this last week twenty four seven three sixty five. Uh, I don't know I can't keep up with the fucking months anymore. But recommended stories for you? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna but, press X to that one. Yes, yeah, Hercules is gay as shit. Now uh, you got Iceman who is like, you remember that hot, he had the hot heels on and shit. Uh, what was that, that gala uh, thing? And then he... Definitely gala. Yeah, okay, well, gala for sure. But I remember reading, uh, I can't remember what it was that, that he was in. Was it, um? it might have been X. It was one of the X-Force X. I thought he was X in Factor. Bobby. It was one of those House of X, Power of X post shits. And I like the one of the fir first couple of issues. They go into some fucking bar, Kitty Pride and them. And like the first thing this motherfucker's doing is kissing up on some dude. And I'm like, mm -hmm. he is quite literally a different character. Mm -hmm. Bobby, yeah, he's he's gay. He's gay. Like he, and that's all that it is about them. Him now. That's it. He is flamboyantly fucking gay. That's the name of his character. Yeah, Who gay. Are you? Oh, I'm gay. Yeah, but what's your name? Gay. Yeah, but what do you do? Gay. That's what happens when you do that to these characters. They become nothing more than that. That's it. It's just some of all your parts. Someone said uh, Alan Sky is cruising the truck stops for Iceman. It's a fucking foul ass. That's another foul ass statement right there. Look, that penis fell into his mouth, okay? By the way, it wasn't a truck stop, according to Tim Sheridan. Shout out, royalties. Uh, Tim <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know how much Tim Sheridan's donated to stop Elton John stigmatizing A. <laughs> I can guess uh, not a fucking nothing. <laughs> He is, he's not seen any royalties from that fucking book. Which is, uh, what is it even called? What is it? Greenland? What is the title of that fucking? Alan Scott sucks a dick. Sorry, that's not fair. Alan Scott sucks a green dick. Because of J. Edgar Hoover, uh, somebody's 
and, 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 and Houdini was in it. Who somebody was in this fucking, it's fucking weird. Jay <laughs> it's so funny. I hate to relive this it's, shit. It's Doctor Who that's sucking Houdini. Oh, yeah. Up. That's who <laughs> I'm my bad, man. Can, I'm you get your, can you get everybody's gay right, please? I'm can getting every... 24 7, 365 gay right, please. Everything's fucking like getting mixed up, man. So it was Doctor Who that was. Doctor Who spent a hot, sweaty summer with Houdini. Okay. Stigmatizing AIDS. Stigmatizing those With Elton AIDS. John. Oh, While Alan fuck. Scott was in a truck stop sucking dick by accident. Oh, there's your penis fell into my hand. Oh, but 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 Sheridan says it wasn't a truck stop. It was during the time it was New York, and the, those lots just looked like that. Mm. And that lamppost just looked, that penis just looked like a lamppost. And then he paid him money afterwards. That, that's what he said. Mm. I didn't make it up. That's what uh, Tim Sheridan. Shit. Someone said Eric's messing up his gay lore. I know. Huh? Uh, sorry, man. This is this, you this see Marvel together. got a gay Bible. By now, they absolutely have to fill with shit that they created over the last year. You can probably it's got one word in it. You open up, it just says everyone. <laughs> in some way, shape, or form. Um, um, and if they ain't straight, if they ain't like all the way gay they're they're like um they're thinking about it yeah for sure like bruce wayne uh, he, bruce, he, bruce he, thinking he, about it. he for sure was considering it that thousand yard stare yeah that thousand yards there oh man um with this fucking company man um no both of them actually they're they're um i mean shout out Elton john i guess but we're i don't know what all right so let me get this straight does you said this month for uk oh. is pride history month right sure <laughs> might be that next month as well but that's what i'm saying oh uh, no i think next month's black pride history so month. and we, we just and we'll be leaving black pride history uh month this October, mm. and then we Close got. Up. So is it June? What's the what's the Amer what's the American Pride Month? Oh, that that's um. Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> so each year, I know each both of the companies, DC Pride, you got Marvel Voices and all that. June, so it is June. Okay, so June is. They're gonna turn somebody gay, um, which isn't like I'm, I'm reaching when I say that. Um, but probably the wrong term. That no, I probably they need it. They need a news article. It's gonna so be it's some. It's gonna be both of them. They're gonna do it to somebody um, that's notable. One thousand percent in June. I just want to know if they're ballsy enough to like go full full out with uh, with. Um, with Bruce. I um I wonder if they cocky enough to do it. Like, yeah, we had that mm -hmm. one scene again with the thousand yard stare and shit. I I wonder maybe, if they maybe he just has Selena he's in bed with Selena. He says, Selena, and she says, Yes, Bruce. You know these last 15 years we've been <laughs> fucking like rabbits. <laughs> and she says, Yeah. You know, all that 15 years I've been, I've been fucking eating you like an all you can eat buffet. Yeah. Wish I had a dick. I mean, that's what happened with, uh, with Robin. And I mean, you know, fruit don't fall far from the tree is what they say. Fruit being the operative word. <laughs> hey, Tim, uh, what's it like, suck a dick? Think about it. Well, I only just started doing it. 
But, you know. Uh, <clears throat> it's they're going to do it to somebody. Both companies are going to do it to somebody. They do it every year. <clears throat> they're going to do it to somebody. To grab that headline. And there's going to be somebody major from each company that that I, I don't know if they do it. I think that's too that's too cocky. Can't do Superman cuz huh. you don't want him to overshadow his son's gayness, so they wouldn't do it to Superman. That's exactly the reason why. Yeah. They wouldn't want to do that. Now, it's gonna be somebody. It'll be a woman. I don't know who, but I feel like somebody major is gonna. It's gonna. I don't know if there's an actual straight woman left in DC. <laughs> they're all at least bi, which is gay, but they're they're, yeah. they're all at least bi. Uh, Lois Lane comes out as bisexual, pansexual. Could see it. Could could for sure see it. She loves having sex with paninis. And, and then we're gonna get gaslit by all the Wikipedia wonders. Well, she had short it's hair in the cartoon. Always. Oh, it's always been that way. It, it, she was always curious and shit. One thousand percent. I we're calling it right now. And then maybe that somebody at Marvel's or DC is right and is sit. Oh, that's a great idea. That's fantastic. We probably gave him some ideas. Jimmy Olsen. Okay. I can see that. I can see them doing that. <clears throat> Jimmy. Yeah. Where's your camera? We need to go out and take some pictures. I left it on my boyfriend's penis. <laughs> oh, man, I can see it. It's funny because we're sitting here like, who who, who they're going to get next? And it could be fucking anybody, to be honest. Hmm? Uh, Lois could um, Lois could transition and Clark would stay with her. There you go. Like I said, we're all going to get gaslit anyway. Well, she has short hair and a fucking pantsuit, so she's always been that way. <laughs> Quit coded, dude. Yeah, of course. She was always that way. You just, <laughs> that's what I learned from Wikipedia. Marvel, Incredible Hulk, ultimate, ultimate power bomb. Fuck. You know, I can see Bruce being, they could, they could throw something on him. It'd probably be like, which is the one, what is it? Which one's the one that's, uh. Don't make me horny. You wouldn't like me when I'm horny. What's the asexual? Yeah, that, that, that they, they, I could see them doing that to Bruce. Um, I got a. Confession to make. Yeah. Uh I've I'm like to come out as asexual. And I knew I knew I was asexual because I woke up this morning and I wasn't that horny. So um hashtag pride. I'm gonna put flags in my bio. You gotta get your flags up, man. For sure. Hold on. Mrs. has just texted me. She just texted me a dirty picture. I'm not asexual anymore. <laughs> Quite horny again now. <clears throat> but here's the thing. The private, the, the more, so what is May? Because the, the, the wedding special. May's the build up. Oh, so that's what. <laughs> so, all right, I got you. It makes sense. So that. So May is the build up to Pride Month, which may ah uh, see up. Uh, okay, I got you. So that's why Marvel voices Pride one shot featuring uh gay Ice Man and gay Hercules is uh is uh oh wait a minute. I do you have that is that So obviously we know they got Black Cat. We now they Loki. I'm looking at this picture. I didn't. Oh yeah. So did I miss something about like seriously? Because that's the Gwenpool shit, right? That's like in the way back on on Russell Russell's uh picture. If you're still on uh, that really gay ass site, um, I you just still happen to be on a gay website that yeah. you're not logged into or anything. No. Um. 
I mean, I am. <laughs> well, no you don't know idea. how that happened. Like, it's, it's no shit. idea. That happens. Shit happens, and you get logged into it. Yeah. Right, well, well, hold on. Why is Gwenpool there? That's that's what I was that's what I was saying. That's what I was asking. Because I think is the person that she's holding on is that the Liberace gay Spider Man? You remember that one? Well, he's a dude though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he's why gay? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm. I, 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 they're they're clearly full flesh with the whole black cat shit. America Chavez, I knew she was gay. I mean, she literally fucking. That's her personality. Yeah, as I said, it came from a planet full of like lesbians, which is not joking, guys. That is her origin. Um, yeah, a planet where two females have babies. Yeah. But so, but yeah, like Lip, Libera, uh, which, if you can, can you share that the the full tweet with uh Russell, Russell sure. uh, Donovan? Do you, you just want the picture, or do you want the tweet? The picture, the pic. I don't care about the fucking tweet, but okay. yeah. So you got Gwen. What? Yeah. What? Did I miss something there? Did she get gay? All right. Who's this? I have no idea. Um, it looks like uh no, I don't know who is that. Who this? I don't know who that I don't know who either of those are. Um who is that chick in the back? She has she looks familiar. Is America Chavez threatening to fix me? Yes. It is vo voices Ooh. after all. Tom King's got a fisting fetish. So yeah, I don't know what they did with the with the uh with the Gwenpool thing. I mean, it must be something I missed of that, that they just made her gay. But and yeah, lucky, she, lucky I don't, just I'm, I'm not saying that. They, I think I'm pretty sure that's the Liberace gay Spider-Man. The one that's the, like, he does the fashion show shit. Because they came out with like, what, like five of them? It was like a limited run. It was Sun's They were all gay. I lost yeah, track. They, they were all, they were all gay. But I'm pretty sure that's the one. That's the, um, the one that like uh, is a f fashion, what was he like a, a a fashion designer? Was that what he was? Oh, Eric, you've got me confused. This one who gives a fuck. <laughs> it was something, something, something about the details. It was gay. Uh, That's all you ever need to know. Yeah, I, I I didn't know about the Gwenpool thing. Maybe that was something that they um. But yeah, if he's a dude and she's holding on to him like that. That would just be a straight couple. Yeah. I didn't know. I, I, just, I, I know. Maybe heterosexuality is the new gay. I <laughs> but definitely the 3% in comics. Heterosexuality is the new gay. Yeah, who the fuck are these women? I, I don't know who those two are. I, I, your guess is good as mine. No black cat. And I know that now Loki's gay. Uh, Hercules is gay. Iceman's gay. Fucking everybody's gay. But I don't know who those two chicks are. I have no idea. Does anybody in the chat that maybe still keeping up with this company know who either of those chicks are? And maybe they're not chicks. Maybe they're uh... in the back. Sisters, Sister Grimm and Princess Justice from Runaways. Somebody said. Oh, from runways. Okay. Yeah, I had no fucking idea who they were. When did Black Cat get gay? Uh yeah, that's now she's bisexual. Um Loki, they made him recently bisexual and gaslit everybody and said he was always doing that shit because he fucking would sometimes appear as a as a because you know, fucking shape shit. He he can appear as a fucking chick, so therefore gay. What did he just turn into a chick to get fucking railed? <laughs> But anybody but if, that shapes, but if, uh, he, if he turned into a chick to get railed, then he's a chick, and he got ra that's called heterosexuality. Well, that, yeah, that would technically still be um, not gay. Um, but yeah, so the Runaways are gay. Gwynpool. By the way, chat. This is the UK Pride special of ripping the silver. <laughs> Because it is the pro the appropriate month, which I I learned about that when As learned about it. Uh, when I was buying food, yeah, when you're buying cheese, uh, and then now so we found cheese out that, yeah, we found out that the UK uh, food's gay. Uh, yeah, we had, we found out that the UK has a gay month that isn't June. 
but that's probably <laughs> gay still too. But oh, that's got... when they that's when they turn uh, Oxford Street into a occupied Paris. So, in 19... so is, it, is it that mm -hmm. that June's just the gay month, and February is the history of the gays month? But mate, as long as it's cocking ass, I don't care. I'm, I'm guessing that's how it lined up. W one was one's the history of the gays, and the others. Can just... I shut this gay website down, or do I have to bookmark it for later? <laughs> you got a bookmark. You got. Okay. You gotta. You gotta. Gotta stay up to date, man. You can keep that log. Might as well say that. Save that password. <laughs> lock, lock that in. Uh, <laughs> to to make sure that. When you yeah. do go and, and revisit and, you know, it's a smooth process. No, problem. I got to get my dates right. Yeah. I got to know what we're celebrating this week. Yeah. God Jeez. damn. Jeez. Everything, everything's gay. Everything's gay. But, you know, that, that. Oh, man. So we got to build up to the. So I wonder if what is what is fucking April going to turn into? If we got maize to build up and then. Mm. We, the, the, uh, this must have. Uh, oh, April has got to be the precursor. The precursor of it. <laughs> okay. So they, they'll get a full 90 day. And then, yeah, you know, you got some lingering gay shit probably for. And the, after July, July yeah. is the fallout. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's, that, that and gives August like, is the ramification. Let's <laughs> give them the whole year, man. Um, and September's the uh, the consequences. Oh, just give fucking El John, man. Just if you just hadn't <laughs> and stigmatized eggs, stigmatized eggs, we wouldn't be in this <laughs> We wouldn't be. We would be here, man. <sighs> Everything's gay. Um, thanks, El John. Shout out. I mean, hope Tim Sheridan lines you up. And yeah, everything that we just discussed is not as gay as that crow picture that we saw. None of it. Who's producing it? Do we know? Some gay guy. Well, <laughs> Russell Dodderman, is that who's uh, one shot? Is that who's producing? Uh, Tim Sheridan. <laughs> the Crow produced by Tim Sheridan. Who's doing this fucking movie? Uh, um, have a look. I'm curious. Rupert Sanders. Hmm. Um, they're known for Snow White and the Huntsman from 2012. Ghost in the Shell from 2017. Okay, okay. Both mid films. Oh, um, one episode of Foundation in 2021. And not a lot. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> oh, man. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. IMBD. Mm -hmm. IMDB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me, does this not get you stoked for this film? Okay. Here, here's the first, the sit right there, front and center. We'll read this out to you, Chad. Okay. A modern reimagining of the beloved character, The Crow. Those are that's the rhetoric they chose to use. That is the rhetoric that they chose to they, that they chose to use. Am I dead yet? Oh fuck! I'm still alive. So that's why he looks like. Um, 
chick. Yeah, I was, that, that, I was looking for a word, and uh, that, that seems to take the, take the cake. Is um is James O'Barr is he he is he's still alive not for much longer <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <clears throat> Yeah, um, he is. Modern reimagine of of the crow. I hope everybody's excited. We got our first look. If you want to go head over to Variety to see the new design. What is uh the tattoo on his eye, eyelid, or whatever the fuck, forehead. What does it say? Gay? No, it says, it says lullaby. Um, this is out in June. Like this June? Yeah. Oh, eight months, so it's coming out in the prime month. It's out in four months. We haven't had a fucking trailer. We've got two images of a bad haircut. What is it, a mullet? It's like a it's kind of yeah, it's like a mullet. It's like a I don't know what the fuck that is, man, to be honest. Hope you guys are excited. Um Brandon Lee sh uh shout out. Um, um I'm pretty sure oh, you are. I've just got a I've just got a uh a new image. Okay. A new image of the crow. Uh oh. Oh, no. That's Christian Stewart. Sorry, my bad. Uh... Oh wait, no. <clears throat> I've got a new. Got, I've got a legit one. Got a legit one. Oh wait, no, that's Christian Stewart. <laughs> what in the fuck, man? Right now, I've got one. My bad. Oh, wait, no, it's Christian Stewart. <laughs> I'm going to find one. Sorry. Got it. Got it. Right. Apologies. Okay. Here we go. Oh, sorry, that's Christian Stewart. <laughs> oh, man. So the Crow Star and Christian Stewart will be out this June. Um, I wonder what in... I don't know the, the like... Um, I don't know, like, the, the setup of... Cause I mean, various people have fucking published that shit, right? Uh, published uh, so does does James O'Barr own it? I I really don't know. Because when I was reading that deal, it said that you know in the past he's been consulted, but when you like being consulted, it doesn't sound like you own that shit. It sounds like somebody else has a hold of it. Um. Oh. Hold on. Right wingers are terrified of our gay Christian Stewart cover. Fucking terrified, guys. Absolutely fucking terrified. 
I'm more terrified that she's going to die of a meth overdose. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, may, maybe people just could smell the cover. Not a good sign. Just saying. I'd like a P.O. box. <clears throat> I want to send that girl some shower gel. Oh, man. Um, I mean, shout out Brandon Lee, man. Um, he don't look. He don't fucking care. <laughs> um, He's with the good Lord now. He don't, he don't, he don't care. He don't have to watch any of this shit. No. He's up in heaven watching Blazing Saddles. So far better alternative than whatever the fuck that that's gonna be. I just this hey, whole... Eric, did you ever find those white women? <laughs> not on not on Google Gemini. Oh okay. <laughs> that's for fucking sure. Good luck. Good good luck trying to make that happen. <laughs> Good luck. Don't see it happening. But you got a bit of a shock when you saw some seventeenth century British kings, eh? Oh yeah. Um uh, they were I mean they like watermelon. <sighs> they were they were pretty um close to me in um pigmentation. Oh, I thought you were gonna go to Texas. Oh, that's what it is. Some Texas fucking summers, man. Um, in in Britain, or in yeah, something, something because of reasons. I always wondered why there was a weird spell in British history where the national anthem suddenly became Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no, it's the, it was it was you had a black version of the national anthem. And that's what that's what Snoop Dogg did. It was our Blantham. Yeah, your Blant. <laughs> your Blantham, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Awful lot of N-words. Yeah, yeah. I'm not not sure why y'all went with that. That that, but I mean more power to to you, considering you your great history of with Hey, history is written by the victors. True. So they say. Holy. <laughs> what? So, uh, what's the next, next shit movie that the audience is going to talk y'all into watching? Uh, did you see Doom, by the way? Uh, Friday. Okay. I see Friday. Okay. Because everybody else is, I mean, I'm, I'm out, but I don't know a lot of people are going to saying the good things about it. Oh! I know the next movie. Okay. After Dune. So do you. What is it? It's about an American society. Oh, shit. So that's on the... When is that? Next month? March. Ah, the Magical Negroes. I can't wait. Oh, I'm gonna man. be yeah, you're gonna waving be... my money outside yeah. the door. What seat do you want? <laughs> I want to sit in a different seat every couple of minutes. You're gonna different, um... different perspective. From yours, from you guys' videos on that, um, maybe we can we can have some. Uh, we'll have something to spare for Elton John. I liked it when they said we called it what we called it because we wanted white people to feel uncomfortable. I don't feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Negro. I could say it all day, every fucking day, man. Yeah, man. Just a color. You just watch my review. That's gonna be good. Got good response on the on the. That Madam Webb thumbnail is fucking unreal, man. 
<laughs> I'm watching that on my I'm scrolling up on my timeline on YouTube and I saw that shit. I was like, this this motherfucker here, man. Um <clears throat> That was impressive. Thank you. I've got HDR on, so it's, it looks overexposed because I've got the HDR on. Yeah. That was impressive. I'm not going to lie. I just wanted to make a word out of Sydney Sweeney's tits. I, I was, was actually impressive. surprised at how well it worked. That was impressive, I, I must say. It was, you never can believe this. The, the quickest to 100,000 view video I've ever done. Yeah. Mm. I, I saw, when I saw it, it was like, it was already at like 70,000. I was like, and it was like seven hours in. And I was like, this motherfucker is. Crack the code. Yeah. He, he's, he's got it figured out. For sure. I'm like, what the fuck do I need to do? Is that what I need to do? Get Sydney Sweeney and... Just a pair of... Sw I've done two videos with Sydney Sweeney's knockers front and center. Both of them over 100k. No problem. So that's, no that's, problem. New, that's the new hack. Yeah. Okay. I, I'll, I'll let my team know. I'm going to try a T for one. See how that works. Okay. I let my team thumbnail team know we gotta we gotta mix it up. Um, hey, if we are having any difficulty, I can use my clout for sexual favors. Sort that out for you. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I know my team's probably in the chat. If uh, we, we got to get Sydney Sweeney, we need to get a couple of. Uh... Sydney Sweeney, Yaira. She'll get more. Like to spend off. a lot of time in the shower. She, she'll get some. Uh, she'll get more royalties off of that than whatever she's going to get in the residuals for Madam Webb. That's a fucking fact. Not even not, that's not even a joke. No. Do you know how much Madam Webb averaged per theater yesterday? How much? I think it was a hundred bucks. Jesus. Let me just confirm. Per theater? Per theater. It was 103. Today it did a lot better. It averaged 181 per theater today. A little, little uh, bump. It's like five tickets. So, um, how much did they spend on this money? Uh, they spent like 100 million. I think we talked about uh, that. The budget eight. was about 100 million. The, the marketing was around 100 million. It's got to earn somewhere in the region of 350 million to break even. Where is it at now? 77. <laughs> Worldwide, that ain't no damn. That's not true. It's got. I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. About it's, to say. It's, it's seventy eight, bro. So that's gonna be a. I look. It's only gonna lose in the region of two hundred, two hundred eighty million dollars or something. It is damn the three hundred million dollars. Right. Shout out Sony. I just so, Sony just sacked nine hundred people yesterday. <laughs> unrelated, unrelated. There were the difficulties going on within the company. Totally unrelated. Just fancy doing it. Or come imagine, today, thought. Imagine being it. in that position though. Like, I uh, I don't quite envy him because losing money sucks. But I mean, just to be able to be able to lose that amount of money and still exist as a company is just you know that's. You're an independent. That's what you're fighting up against. That's impressive. Like when with uh with with the Marvels, like that was damn near a fucking half a billion dollars that they lost. 
a I billion. Could've, I could have just taken two million. I would have been set for life. Like, fuck, dude. Like, to be able to lose that ma- amount of money, bro. That is, uh, it, that's actually quite impressive. It is. That's what like I was legit. saying. Like, legit, like, they lost almost half a billion fucking dollars on that goddamn film, man. Like, that's, that is impressive, man. I don't know. What is it? I mean, hell, we could spend a whole another segment on that. Like, as far as least. Big sec? Yeah, that could be another big sec. But I would be interested in, in knowing, like, what is the all time, like, as far as studio in terms of what they spent versus what they made? What lost the most money? Um, because I I don't I've never heard a number like be a fly on the wall. Just be a fly on the wall at one of these meetings, just so you could be like, "F, they're all fucking (laughs) every one of them. They're like, holy fuck, they've got the IQ of a fucking dead rabbit." Yeah. So so yeah, what do we do? Is you'll take probably one of the most unlikable females in Hollywood at the moment, and will make her one of the most unlikable superheroes of all fucking time, and then we'll stick a budget over three hundred million dollars, and so it's got to hit nine hundred million to get our money back before profit, and then we'll have a go around insulting everybody particularly the customer, and they'll be amazing. And then uh, we get the return, and oh, hey, looking at the sheets, oh. we lost half a fucking billion dollars. Uh, how did this happen? How did that? I don't understand how this happened without the formula crack. Half a billion dollars that's a lot of fucking money, man. It's a fucking lot of money, man. I could buy a lot of comics with half. Oh, bro, I'd be taking this company to new heights, bro. If I fucking even had access access to a fraction of that shit, I man. could probably buy Sydney Sweeney for half a billion. <laughs> buy whatever the fuck you wanted with fucking half a billion. Dollars. Dude, I'd have in the kitchen making sandwiches in a lickety split. Yeah. Well, hundred billion uh, for half a billion dollars, you could do quite. There's nothing you really can't fucking do out in entertainment. Oh man, they just fucking pissed it away. Shout out to fucking Disney, man. I mean, just imagine. What's the first thing you like me to do? I'm thinking the uh, laundry. Shout out Sydney Sweeney, bro. Stop stigmatizing it. Stop, stop doing that shit, man. Stop. stop cut it out. That stop. Stop. Fucking cut it out, man. Can you and Elton John? You gotta cut that shit out. <laughs> cut that shit out. <laughs> fucking tired of this. Fuck, man. Hundred fucking. And they about to. And Sony's about to lose two hundred eighty million dollars. Oh, I'm and I'm just about to watch the American Society of Magical Negroes. This is a beautiful time to be alive. You know what the most dangerous animal on planet Earth is? Great white white people. I'm gonna be there going. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna make so much money. <laughs> no. It's gonna be a very profitable film. The Magical Negroes. The American Society of Ma- Magical Negroes. <laughs> Dan Vad said well, he could buy Brazil with that money. Like Dude, I've got enough money to buy Brazil on the table here. It's like 30 pence. <laughs> yeah, look. Ain't fucking around, Dan. Fucking around. There you go. Can I have some change for Brazil, please? <laughs> Shout out, Dan, man. We had a great conversation over what day. Of what if the AT receipts? Shout out, shout out, Dan. So no, I'm not gonna be the first to watch the film. Um I am. As, as will be the first yep. to watch. He'll be the first in line to watch. I'm gonna American camp outside of the theater. I'm gonna bring a tent 
a little Bunsen burner, kettle, mug, pot of tea, and a little plastic screw top of milk. I wonder oh, if they'll man. do plushies. Come back home with some plushies, magical plushies. Which plushie do you want? I want the most racist. Oh, man. Oh, sir, that's all of them, sir. That's what I said. So yeah, you can expect uh some some good entertainment, not from the movie, uh, but from uh, a lot of people in our corner. Oh, the reviews. Um, when is just this? imagine you make a massively racist March film 15th. to devolve into a into a rom com. That's a weird blend. So Romantic funny. comedy, racism. It's like chocolate and mayonnaise. Sorry, mayonnaise light. It's a bit like the film. You got a man. I hate it. David Allen Greer, man. I'm a fan of him. Fan of him. Um, he's gonna subject himself to a. Uh, Whatever the fuck this movie's gonna be, um, I wonder if the uh, reviews will give it absolutely glow. Of course, they fucking will. It's gonna be one of those films that's like a hundred percent, ninety, 90 fucking nine point nine percent on fucking Rotten Tomatoes. All the critics are in on it. They, they love it. They the only person it. who who didn't give it fresh was Adolf Hitler. Which for some reason is reviewing yeah, him, I, him and Jay right. Hoover and fucking Houdini too, probably fucking Houdini's got his mouth full. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 occupied, to be fair. I must confess this has been the most disappointing thing I've seen since nineteen forty five. Oh man, that is um I can't shout out that guy. That that would be, that would be bad. <laughs> that would be fucking bad. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, leave that one alone. Stop stigmatizing it. Yeah, stop TikTok days, man. <laughs> Fucking Hitler, you asshole. You, Elton John and Sidney Sweeney, got to cut that shit out. Cut it out, bro. <laughs> Tim Sweeney's not happy with you. <laughs> not happy. Oh, man, you cut that shit out, bro. <clears throat> cool, boy. What, oh, a, man. what a ride this show's been. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, that's up. Uh... Uh, thank you for watching the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad, man. If you get the oh. shot. No. Oh, yeah. I'll, I just, I'll, take the, I'll, I'll take the responsibility. No, I must uh, I must have seen a... I must have read a Tim Sweeney book because I've just... i got tears in my eyes. I shouldn't have choked on that fucking guy's cock at the truck stop, I guess. Bill, like, called himself Alan. Seemed a nice guy at the time. Chorizo <laughs> <laughs> supers. Yo, yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> camera's on the whole time, huh? Yeah, camera's been. Oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Lord J with a twenty dollar says, uh, "Yaira Carano when." I don't know. Oh. 
Oh. It's initial, it's initial. Shout out, Gina. I can, <laughs> that's that's a genuine shout out. Uh, yeah, like a genuine one. Like we rock with Gina, man. Beats like, out of Hitler. <laughs> Yeah, that for sure beats that guy. Don't I mean, give, they, talk, no, I mean, they, they talk out. about her like she's the yeah. same fucking guy anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the bravest thing we've said on this show. We, we, because I'll join you in solidarity here. We will not give a shout out to that naughty Austrian man with the funny mustache. The J. Jonah Jameson mustache. Yeah. That's a brave look to rock for J. Jonah. <laughs> you know, takes a lot of guts. Yeah. A lot of guts. Shout out. Not to the other guy, to J. Jonah. Mr. 30 Below has become a member. Thank you, Mr. 30 Below. Josh Kelsey dropping a $20 super. That's it. That's all Josh needs to do. Oi, can't leave Poland out of this. Too soon. Bearded Gamer 88 has also become a member. Thank you. At a Witcher level as well. Thank you. Joker's Disciple with a $5 says Black Stan Lee. Wrong. More like future black Isaac Perlmutter. Or better yet, just businessman Eric July. Hell as Ripper Send. Ripper Verse in Yara number one. Shout out. Appreciate you, bro. What's that? Hell versus Babyface merch coming to Ripper Send. No idea what you're talking about. Uh, Brent Wolf with a 50. 50. Ain't cheap. A lot of money. No, it's a lot of money. A world without women is a world devoid of human life. Period. Wait, is that human life? Periods. Is this... I don't, Brent, I don't is this think a that period? would work. No, oh, period. It's American. Yeah, you yeah, see, I'm yeah, British. Yeah, 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 yeah. To us, it's full stop. You, it's period. Oh, boo. End of species. Yeah, but for like 30 fucking years, the planet, it's going to stink of cum. <laughs> it's probably going to be very gay. It's, it is just going to. You're going to get out, you just walk out the door in the morning. Fucking world reeks. Of... Oh, you try fucking living out with me. Oh, shut up, David. We're all dealing with it, Dave. <sighs> Did you log me onto that website, by the way? Just asking for a friend. Uh, testing 2741 with $2. Eric July, why? Oh, why can you not take criticism? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Is it because you're an alt-right Yahtzee? Well, it must be. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Are you a white supreme? It's like, it's always, it's always a funny one. That's always, that'll forever be one of the funniest ones because it's, so fake and everybody's now we just laugh at it it's like this man paid two dollar i want this question answered give, give us more please okay. just give us give give it give him as a baby face more so spoilers a spoiler he does <laughs> incoming Perfect. joker's disciple with a two dollar yaira's bootay is better than tifa's melons just saying i respect that I'll need to examine both in great detail. Defendo99 with a $10 says Ripperverse fans have internalized missionary because they're so much more excited for Yaira <clears throat> over other tits. Title titles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it just shows everybody here has internalized uh, misogyny, misandry, uh, hatred oh, yeah. of men. Yeah, you actually hate misandry. That's some, very true. Some pronounce it. Um, I mean, shout out. Uh, uh to shout to out Alan Scott. Oh, oh well, yeah. I mean, that's a genuine shout out to, to Yara. Alan Scott. Shout out. I mean, Tim Sheridan. Yara booty shorts. When? When are you gonna? When are you gonna model them? Asking for a friend. Um, and science. Maybe okay. sooner than later. Maybe oh, sooner than later. I'll oh. see that. Oh. Okay. Amon and Susis with a five dollars says, "Thanks, Eric, for signing my Marvels Katie at MegaCon." <laughs> did, you, did you sign a Marvels Katie? Did I? Do you know why? They, do you know why they're called Marvels Katie and Marvels this and Marvels that? Wow. It's because you, you can't copyright the name on its own. You can't copyright Katie. Uh, yeah, 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 it makes sense. So you, they have to do a Marvels in front of it. And Shut now, up. since they can't copyright Rogue, apparently, they have to, it's Marvels Rogue. So that's why they do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. And uh, yeah, the art. I ordered the Alpha Core art book ads. I'll have to, uh, you, uh, I'll have you sign next year. Anything. Okay. Well, not your penis. Well, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's not an option. But no, I, books. Yeah, we we can do that. We can rock with that. Uh, thanks, guys, for what you do. Hey, thank you. He's back testing two seven four one with another two dollars. Will Yaira use three D <laughs> assets too? And why did Isom suck? Uh, Yaira. $2 says, I I want a. Fucking answer. Fucking answer. So Yaira will uh, take to let you down. It will not have um, my 3D assets. Not buying it anymore. Uh, so I know. I know we probably lost a couple of sales on that one. My apologies. As far as Isom, um, you read the wrong book. Isom's not gay. You just said suck. Yeah. Thinking of uh, Marvel's Iceman, perhaps. I it sounds similar. Iceman. Iceman. Oh, hey. you know, yeah. similar. That's wrong, wrong book. Wrong title. I've seen the grave. Yeah. Uh, Eugene Oliventia with the five dollars says, "In honor of the figure as showed off yesterday." The figure that I showed off. Did I? Oh, the Rocketeer. Uh, best Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Connolly, the Rocketeer, or career opportunities? The one where she gets the knockers out. Which one was that? Career opportunity. What about Mulholland Drive? Was it Mulholland Drive? At the end of... Never mind. Double eight. Professor X with a one hundred dollar. Curious on the business end, Ripper. Well, you can't do the same volume as the guy, as the big guys to get their pricing deals. Would Ripper send help in that department or does the printing and shipping of other people's work not technically count towards your volume oh uh, would it count towards it uh yeah i mean most of that stuff is going to be a per project thing either way um but yeah i mean if you're doing business it, you know it's, it's with anything it doesn't matter if you're talking about parcel companies the more business that you the price that is front facing custom customer facing i use the term loosely Everything's negotiable once you start enterprise stuff. Everything. It doesn't matter what it is. So when you start doing more business with a company that includes printers, yes, you're going to get prices uh, lower. Um, so would it help? 
I mean, I guess, but yeah, you also got to consider the the volume as well. Um, you know, that's going to be a, the the real and true primary determinant. But either way, yeah, because it, logically speaking, if someone printed, got us to print something versus them just doing it right out the box, our our prices, what we have access to, is going to be far more cheaper because of the rapport that we've built, because of the printings of the other things that we've done. So, yeah. You're never going to believe this, mm -hmm. but this stream's demonetized. Oh, I had no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, it's crazy, man. That's wild. I think YouTube's uh, a bit bigoted. Mr. 30 Below with a 20 says, here is 20 to buy that dog shit company after they finally flop. Don't want it. Because <laughs> it won't have the IP attached, it would just be the company thing. Yeah. That'd be worthless. But I will take that twenty dollars to buy a nice flag and I'll right, wave it right. at them. Yeah, of course. Okay. I'll go look. It's all worth it. <laughs> it's all worth it. <laughs> Uh, Bush and Ryu Cat gifting five memberships to the stream. Thank you. And also, Bush and Ryu Cat been a member for six months now. Thank you so much. Hemorrhoid hurts with a three Australian says Eric July wants <laughs> to be white. <laughs> Please explain, Eric. Oh, man. That's uh, is that somebody claimed because I showed Stan Lee. Saying mm -hmm. what Stan Lee said, and just that's all it was. The, it was literally just, "Hey, here's Stan Lee saying this." Apparently, that meant I wanted to be a white guy. So, what color was the person that said that? Apparently, they're black. Um, Did they vote they for Biden? Black this in the profile. Oh, that could mean that could be white. <laughs> true, very, very true. That's true. Not I sure what all, the, all the current thing. Yeah. So, I really like Denzel. Am I black now? I guess. Oh, cool. That's the Brit the British history. <laughs> Steeped. <laughs> Steeped in it. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Solidarity R3D with a two line says, Do you think Gail wears knee pads to work? I don't, oh, oh, oh. Um, I don't, I think she can still walk. I don't think she's that big yet. <clears throat> Shout out, Gail some more. <laughs> No. Alfavre with a twenty dollars is two shops by me. One only new issues has to sell toys slash Funkos. No customers. Two only sells back issues. No toys sells keys, but will own uh, but will only to acknowledge customers. Only works two days a week to pay his bills. Mm. To knowledgeable I, customers. Yeah, sorry. I've seen. I've seen and some guys key, key, key issues. You mean? Yeah, um, I, I've seen some some shops that have done that. Shops, right, where they're like open only like three days a week and shit. Hey, dude, if that dude is uh, getting by on uh, two days a week because of his business, good on him. If he can make it work. Have, have a good fucking life. <laughs> if you can make it work. Yeah. Ah, uh, Kuhaku has been a member for three months. Says, "Hey, Laz and Eric, keep on doing the good work that you do." Appreciate Thank you, man. bro. Thank yeah. you. Oh, well, I tried to go for a booby burp and I swallowed it. 
Defendo99 with the $5 is patiently waiting for a Babes of the Ripperverse pinup calendar. Now, I mean... Mm. Just saying. Okay. okay. That would be a funny fucking retort to Women of Marvel. Women of Marvel, yeah. I agree. I could, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just, you know, get a few more, a few more characters in there. Huh? Well, or maybe just add some of the staff. Oh, we do have some lovely ladies here. I don't know. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to fucking be pissed. That's it. <laughs> I know he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Brando, man. What the fucking cracker said about me? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Joker's Disciple with a $10 says, here's my predictions for Yara 1. She permanently ends people who try to end her. She knows Blood Ruth. The foil C cover will be Snow White or Blue Sapphire embossed. I hit the money on any of those. Obviously, I can't confirm any of that, but I will say that the, the closest you got was the latter point with uh, as far as cover C. Oh, I'm not gonna say it's accurate, but uh, of of the three things that you mentioned, that's the closest one. Um, For what reason? Well, you have to find out. I, 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 I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. She kills people who she deems to be worthy of being killed, not in a worthy in a good way. Just you deserve. You deserve to fucking die. Okay. She's banged a member of Alpha Call. Okay. Uh, she possibly was a member of Alpha Call. Okay. And my, there's my three. I'm going to go with three like this guy. I'm not even going to ask if I come close to any of that because you just go. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, not. And wrong. one of the people that she killed was embossed. <laughs> <laughs> one of the people she killed was fallen and embossed. Okay. <laughs> Colony 4 from Getting Nerds with a 10 pounds says, Hey, you're ripping the silverback. Great news on Ripper Send, my idea. I take credit. I'm launching a free comic style quasi animated audio drama series, Colony 4, on YouTube on Friday. Any chance of a shout out? You just got one. Just got one. Shout out. Just got one. Keep being great. That's all I know how to be. Keep at it, man. All I know how to be. Shout out. Uh, thank you. Uh, Sheep Sudian has been a member for Tree. If she plants her feet to the wall first, does she then headbutt the building? I was talking about a uh, sun spider. Okay. <laughs> you know the one that flippity flops the legs? Yeah. What if one of the legs just gets stuck on a wall? And she just goes, shpunk. Because, like, sticky hands, sticky legs. Just because she can't feel legs don't mean they're not sticky. Yeah, that, yeah that's true. That's a good point. Doesn't mean that... She, she must be, know. like, going around town like it's fucking Velcro. Yeah. Just yeah, pe peeling herself off building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I, lo I love it when they don't think things through. It's funny. That's such a visual, man. What a visual <laughs> that is, man. <laughs> oh, no, it's spider. I don't worry. The oh, duck. what a fucking visual, man. Oh, no, they can't reach the leg. No, but on, if you take 
If you take the wheelchair off, then you won't have to, it won't weigh you down to get, that's it. Don't peel them both off. Peel them both off at the same time. Remember, she uses her crutches to fire webs. The whole fucking thing is just so ridiculous. I'll just take polio. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. RC with a uh, uh Axie with a 42042 with a $10 says these modern disabled superheroes greatly ignore me. I had an idea for a superhero who is an amputee, but it, I'm afraid if I made a character look like that, people would associate my character with Sun Spider. What do they knock themselves out when they fly? Do they have a wheelchair strapped onto the back and use crutches to fire webs? Who's that person there? I don't know. We just got to find some fucking disabled person that that uh, has a pride flag, and we've probably got our probably got our spider person woman thing. Don't want to misgender them. It's okay. They just. Knock themselves out with the legs of the dead and fell to your feet to the dead. It's such a fucking ridiculous fucking the more you think about it and you visualize how just that's just not practical. Um it makes it hilarious, man. I got this fucking shout at the woman. Shout out. Got that. Ciao. It's the only reason why I buy female cars. It's like shouting them. Hemorrhoid hurts with a eight Australian. As Eric didn't answer if he wanted his balls drained by Granny, ask him again. Got any balls drained I, I'm, by I'm gonna pass the answer is no. It's a it's a no. She'll drain your wallet. Yeah, if I hired her, for sure. That's for fucking sure. Sorry, hold on. I'm a whole ass grandma and I'm still draining wallets and balls. <sighs> she can't get a shout out from me. I'm sorry, man. Happy holidays. From your favorite sex worker grandma to comic and TV writer grandma. Can't can't get a shout out from me. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pass on that one, bros. There's two people that we're not gonna shout out. <laughs> it's, it's Austrian one, one. artists <laughs> and T Franklin. <laughs> No, I'm not saying they're both. No, nah, not not saying they're both the same person for <laughs> sure. They, they have their different reasons. But have you seen them in the room at the same time? That's all oh, I'm. Shit. <laughs> oh man. I mean, they both got the same time. Yeah, if she's economically leftist, which I bet every, I bet the whole company that she is, um, she has a lot similar with that man. As far as. <laughs> Political philosophy. Boy, she's, invaded, philosophy. she's invaded Poland. So, literally, that, that's just that's just that's just accurate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there is there is something I'd love to say, but I also like my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, leave it alone. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna put that one in the. Uh, I actually counted to ten column uh remember denial is the first sign of guilt <laughs> well, 
It was like, there's a very quick denial. But. Psychotic Mongoose gifted a membership to the stream. Thank you, Psychotic Mongoose. Shut up. Axie042, the two dollars is, I meant annoyed. Yeah. Not ignore in my previous super Makes boobies. There, I got it out. Thank God. These modern disabled superheroes greatly annoyed me. There you go. Eric K with the two dollars says, "Has I got news for you? If you logged in, <laughs> must have been a misclick." Graph Web with the two dollars says, "For fuck's sake, cancel Disney Plus." I have. I have. Sheep Sidian with a ten dollars says, "Bobby makes sloshing sounds as he walks around at parties." I, I bet some of the ice he's cast just melted in his pockets. That must be it. I'm not sure about the prolapse stain. Uh, Albert Nada Retro with a five Canadian says, "Iceman of old was making a play for Polaris at X Men." And the Russian super hero, her, 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 Black Star, the champions, both of whom are female. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't, you didn't, you didn't hear the internal monologue of him saying, "God, I wish this was a penis." For Apparently. forty years, it was, it was internalized. Yeah, internalized gayness. Big thing. Well, apparently. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Tim Shadow, man. Shout out, bro. Hey, shout out. Come on the show, Tim. We'll have a laugh. <laughs> we will have a laugh, Tim. You know we will. You know we will. Oh, Come on, mate. Let's have a chat. All you have to do is just tell us how much money. <laughs> In royalties. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a guess that. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take a guess that this five gifted memberships from Crimson Shadow is more than the royalties from that. Oh yeah, Crimson Shadow. Thank you. Five gifted memberships. <clears throat> Golan Wolf with the five dollars says Batman spent all those years with Dick. He decide he wants what he'll decide he wants one. He's already got one, Grayson. Oh god, I can't wait for the Nexus next Nexus. Yeah, just the Nexus of fucking gays. The next hero that they turn and the pathetic way in which they do it. Oh yeah. And then the gaslighting of they've always not, they've been, been this way. way. Wikipedia told me. <laughs> Twitter told me five yeah. minutes ago when Marvel said that, oh yeah, DC went, yeah, totally. Cat SOS with a $10. Robin's gay because Batman took his virginity. Oh. Pretty sure it's Stephanie Brown. Manic Pixie Fangirl with a membership for four months has just got through reading Titans comics, new Savage Sword of Conan issue one. Highly recommend it. Ah, uh, what did I just read? From Titan. I just read something from Titan. Um oh, something what is it called? Is it like a noir? Well, it's not noir. Like uh God, what is it called? I have to remember. Some woman with big tit. <laughs> DK Ritter with a five dollar says the crow is supposed to look freaky. So points on that at least. Doesn't look freaky. Looks like a fuck boy. Looks like I've just gone to the gym and there's a fucking corner full of fuck boys stood around one machine. None of them's doing anything. <laughs> and he goes to the go. Yeah. Are you using that to go, yeah? Whatever. 
Fuck. They should have just made another original film and added it to the franchise. <sighs> Ted Hammond with the two dollars is as sound sounding like Bane. And you think this makes you feel powerful? <laughs> Noose with the ten dollars says, "Hey, as and Ripper, as thank you. Oh no, thanks, as and Ripper. There should be a period there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as thank you for the Azrael comic recommendation. Started to read now for, and I'm enthralled. Do either of you two have any recommendations for Punisher comics? Oh, you should then that you should then read Punisher Batman when Batman is Azrael. That's a nice little mate. That's a nice little crossover." Just read Chuck Dixon Punisher. Oh, or Mike Barron's Punisher. Mike Barron. Both of which also are doing stuff with Riververse. So there's that. And or Gail Simone's. <laughs> Although they changed the name to Naughty Boy Man, who eats food and talks about his feet. Ruddy Hood TV with a ten dollars says, uh, "What's good, fam? Hope all is well." First off, Ison was great. You can't prove that. Nobody read it. Yeah, that's what they say. Second, have you seen RDC Worlds? Uh, Worlds One's video about Marvel. I haven't seen it. Uh, big shout out to him. Um, but I have not seen it. Uh, third, as you are the most entertaining white boy I know, you can't prove I'm white. Yeah, you Love can, what you, you do, are, guys. Keep where it it's from, and it has a lot of history of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steeped, steeped in it <laughs> from at least 1960 onwards. <laughs> I came on a boat from the West Indies. Uncle Martin with the mountain bike has been a member for seven months, has just finished Netflix's Avatar, and I want Elon's Neuralink to erase it from my memory. Get on it, Elon. Oh, I can't be asked for that. Thankfully, I don't, I had never watched the series, so I can't, I can't, I can't see it being bastardized. Uh, welcome back, Frank, is a recommendation from the Soskers, by the way. The Punisher. Uh, Vic Whiplash with a ten dollars says Venture Brothers Phantom Limb is the best handy capable superhero. That is such a great name for an amputee. Phantom Limb. Did they? Do... I, you could have a whole lot of fun with that. They probably did. In all fairness, Hail the Law has been a member for two months. Says Hail as and Ripper. I am so pumped for what's to come from the Ripperverse. Thank you, Eric July, for being dedicated to the craft and not the foolishness. Oh, you know, we focused this year, man. I appreciate you. Boobies. That was probably not the right moment to do that. Because that was a heartfelt moment. When's Yari coming out? Soon. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> just, just did five. <laughs> with a five dollar. Were you guys planning on doing Critics Court this year with Gore? Be fun to see one or both of you. All the best. I was actually invited onto Critics Court Court last year, and uh, I said I'd do it. And then when it got nearer the time, I spoke to Chris and I said, "Chris, no offense, because I love you." But I don't give a fuck about Star Wars, neither to to defend nor attack it. I just don't care. So if it's something that I care about, maybe, but I just, with Star Wars, I'm just so beyond. Sorry. Just... What, you fucking asshole? When's Yari coming out? So, that's all I can give you, As. I'm sorry. You probably hate me for it, but that's that's the best I can do. Hillary Clinton. 
Yeah, I've got I've got a name. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can give you, man. It's so <sighs> I love hemorrhoids soon. Brass Monkey with a ten dollar says, "Hot Yara winter is coming. Ripperverse for life." And that's for the hoose. He's put a he's put a hoose thing there. Just a date. It's all a fucking one. In the book, Brass Monkey. There you go. If you don't tell me you ain't black, I learned that from your president. So he says, and he is an expert on the black. So shout out Joe Biden, I guess. Oh, he gets his shout out. Okay. Yeah, he's uh he's having man. He he is I, he he doesn't know what the fuck's going on, so it's not like he's gonna know what that even means. No, he he don't know his own fucking name. That's what I'm saying. Stitch with a ten dollar assist for the demonetization. Hail as hell ripper, hail Sasuke sister. Hail Yaira. Shout out. Appreciate you, What's man. That? The house is burning down. Oh, no. The only way that I can get out is if Eric July tells me when Yaira is <laughs> releasing. Yeah, man. I love you, man. But you burning down with the house. <laughs> Sorry. I take offense. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Did you know how based I am? Thank you. Hmm? I'll show you how based I am, mate. Okay. Proposed as law would allow ranchers near borders to shoot trespassers. That's me. I respect that. They said, uh, hey, Az. I said, what? I said, what, what should you do about trespassers? I said, fuck you, shoot them. <laughs> I said, uh, okay, we'll take yeah, I bet, I bet you get a lot less of it. Take under advisement, they said. Get you get a lot less of it. Ask a question that gave you an answer. We are caught up. Oh, nice. Eric. Yeah, yeah. Before we go, is there any dates that you would like to provide? I'll say this much. Um, you know, yeah. this is not only River Sand was not our only announcement that we have coming up well of course we know it's fucking coming up well i'm talking like in, in like the near and by near future i mean like days let's let's make a comp let's make a compromise okay can you give me a date of an announcement no what i could say i say i can say this much yeah, we said beginning yeah. of this week that this week we'd have an announcement. Hmm? We gave you one big one. You did four percent. That's not the only one. That's what I can say. <clears throat> so, in other words, you can say fuck all. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd like to plug before we go? Ripperson.com is R-I-P-P-A-S-E-N-D. Get some more information. We officially launched that. Our service wing under Ripperverse Publishing, helping people out with publishing, helping people out with uh, some consulting stuff, uh, fulfillment. Really big venture that we've been pondering on for a while. But yeah, but should I keep an eye out, Chay? <laughs> Shout out, Bruce. Um, uh, look, J 
just be on the lookout and, and keep it locked. That's all I can say. Hey, Soskas, what are you doing after the show? <laughs> I think we should just. Hang. Oh man, I, I gotta keep them like. Yeah, I think we should just say no, 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 don't. No, this has got nothing oh, to do God. with you. you. Gotta keep them locked. Up, just, man. It's got nothing to. <laughs> we should we should just hang out. Yeah. I gotta keep them locked up. Let's just hang out. I've got a bottle of Jack. <laughs> I don't drink anymore, so I mean, you just have as much as you want. And uh, yeah, we'll you know just talk about anything really. Anything, anything you want. <laughs> anything you want to talk about. Hey, uh, keep them locked up, man. You, uh, you hit me up, yeah. Hit me up. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bruce Flash with a ten dollars says, "I'm not asking for the release date, but should I keep an eye out for a trailer this weekend?" Just keep it locked. There will be there. There we got announcements, man. You got one. You got one. Well, there's no need to show off, ladies. <laughs> Dirty girls. Um, oh, he said nothing, didn't he? Again. I guess, hey, next week, ripping a silver back on Eric's channel. Oh, shit. Or is it? Just thought about this. Okay, so it's next Wednesday. It is next Wednesday, as far as not Yaira, but uh -oh. uh, I will say this: yeah, we may end up having to actually do it. You may have to host it because I'm going to be uh, out of town. Um, my, my good friend. Any particular reason? It's it's not it's not NDA. So, uh, but it, but I am going to be out of town. So you it, it, you may have to end up hosting it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, which is like whatever. I mean, who cares? Just do a couple of weeks and yours after. No, yeah, that works. That works. Yeah, that's perfect. But yeah, I we were doing some. We had some internal stuff with the company that we were uh, going on about, and that was like uh, it snuck up on me. It's like, oh shit, I'm gonna be a fucking out of out of town uh, during this time. But yeah, we may have to do it on yours because I, I will be like maybe in a hotel room. Hey Eric, are you busy tomorrow? Um, depends on when. Okay, are you busy uh, Friday? Friday, I'm pretty. I I just got that whatever I'm doing with Blaze, and then I'm I'm over. Are you busy Saturday? Saturday, I I don't got shit. Okay, Sunday. Sunday. Uh, I don't got shit. Okay, right, chat. There's this. So it's not releasing uh, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So it's probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> He's trying to fish, man. <laughs> Got a real uh, Rich Johnston over here. Uh... I just got me a ripper. He's trying. He's trying to fish. <laughs> I just think Monday's a good start. Week. Mm. See that. <laughs> oh, bear. Nothing. Okay. Uh any is anything else you like to plug? Oh no, that's it. Um that's it. Yeah. That's it. We appreciate y'all showing the love. Uh, see man, the feedback that we've got since the launching of the company, man, uh, or the the service. Stuff that we're going to be offering has been massive, man. So appreciate y'all. A lot of that idea came from, you know, interaction with, with the fans. So thanks to you all. I tried, chat. I tried. He tried. Honestly, chat, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I, we ain't told him shit. <laughs> <laughs> we have not told him. People might think as has the inside scoop. He does not. Because he does not. I wish I did. But I don't. <laughs> I don't. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna be playing Final Fantasy Rebirth all Ooh, baby. day. Oh baby! Just got onto the card game. Just won some card game matches. We've gone through the first demo. I didn't play the second demo, so I don't even know what the second demo is. 
Uh, so we are in, we're in the game. Uh, so all day tomorrow, I'm going to wee myself at the desk and everything uh, playing that. Friday, Friday night tights. Guest, I believe, is Chris Gore. Ooh. Uh, and we'll be uh, discussing June as don't know shit. I know. What are you doing after the show? Gonna hang? Get bras off and everything. <laughs> um... Uh, uh, so Friday's going to be busy. Probably Saturday I'll be playing Rebirth all day as well. Probably, uh, but uh, Friday I got to go see Dune two at the cinema. So I'll be limited in what I can do. Are you going to review it on the same day, or are you just going to talk about it on the FT? Uh, depends what time I go to see it. Okay. And how much time I've got before FNT. It would be nice if I could. Okay. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. See how uh, balls deep I am into Final Fantasy as well. Because I could just discuss it on FNT and play some Final Fantasy. I don't know. We'll see. Sunday afternoon tea with Az. No Super Chat Square up this week because it was on Gary's channel. And then uh, Sunday fun day. And maybe for the first time in 15 years. We might have a full compliment. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll be hanging out with the Saucy Sisters uh, after the show. <laughs> He's trying to get the scoop. He is. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll get, I'll get back to you on that chat. Uh, massive thank you to everyone who came to watch today. Mods, thank you so much for giving up your free time. Everybody who super chatted, Shut membered. Up remembered gifted memberships thank you so much indeed for supporting the channel i will be back with some more stuff very soon so will eric until then you take care bye for now <laughs>